2023 is coming to a close and to wrap up the year I decided to combine all of my best videos from the year into one huge movie. These are the videos you guys love the most on my channel and I want to thank you guys for all the support throughout the year. There's also a chance you're new to my channel and you've never seen these videos before. But either way, grab some popcorn and a tasty drink and enjoy a compilation of my best videos from 2023. Happy New Year. Today it's Ash Ketchum versus Champion Leon in Minecraft Pixelmon. And this wheel will decide what Pokemon we'll be hunting for for our teams. And after six rounds we'll meet back at spawn for the world championship battle but time for your first wheel spin rich or i guess i should say leon and oh okay. no way charizard first we spin. take those but now it is time for my wheel spin come on i need something mm -hmm. big and oh Whoa. i will take it pikachu that's my that's my first pokemon so now we gotta find ourselves a pikachu which is honestly really fitting for our first pokemon i mean it was ash's first pokemon too so come on and here's another one of ash's pokemon Gengar. I really want to get that. And make sure you guys watch this video to the end because you don't want to miss who wins the championship. And that's a Raichu. Ew, yo, we do not mess with Raichu, bro. Ash Ketchum does not like Raichu. Find a Pokemon, I would knock that out right now. We need to find Pikachu. Ladies and gentlemen, I might not sound like Leon, but I am playing as one, okay? So I need to appreciate Charizard and go capture one right now. Because if you know me, I normally despise the damn thing, but this time is a little bit different. Oh, that's a dragon. Dragonite and a Haxorus. Okay. Why don't you spawn me a different dragon type? AKA the orange one. Wait, is Charizard even dragon type? I don't think it is. Oh, and that is a Charizard right there. And it is shiny as well. Oh, yes, Charizard. Thank you, my friend. Get in this master ball right now. But we gotta find this little yellow mouse. And guys, make sure you let me know your favorite Pokemon of Ash Ketchum's in the comments. Because I love Pikachu and Lucario personally, but I also love Ash's Crocodile. With the sunglasses. So I don't know which Pokemon of Ashes is my actual favorite. Oh my god! This Pikachu just ran up in my face. What? Hello! I am Ash Ketchum Pikachu. Get into my Pokeball. So you got your Charizard, Mr. Leon. What will you catch now? Ooh! Ooh, Rillaboom! That is not bad at all. Come on, give me Incineroar so I can take down Rillaboom. Ooh, Come on. No, 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 oh, no, 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 Please! I will take Greninja though. That's amazing. Oh no. Guys, we have a chance to get a really powerful. Powerful Pokemon here because not only can we get Greninja, but we can get Ash Greninja as well So if we can find a Greninja with the battle bond ability, then we'll be set Oh, we got a Delphox here. That's so close to Greninja and Eternatus All I'm saying is I'm just glad Leon did not catch that Eternatus because if I had to fight an Eternatus in the battle That would not be good. All righty this time We need to find a Rillaboom and we actually spawn next to a jungle biome where Rillaboom normally spawns So if we play our cards right surely we find find the Rillaboom relatively easily. Yo, what on earth are you doing here, Celio? You are not meant to be here. Bro, wh why are you here? You're gonna drown. Ooh, oh, that's a Rillaboom on top of the largest tree I've ever seen. Come here, buddy. No! It just despawned. Oh, there he is again. Rillaboom, I swear to God, if you run away from me again, I will cry. Come on. Yes, we got it. Thank God. Finally. Oh, Wait a sec. All right, hold on. Maybe Greninja likes this. And I think this biome is called an Ice Spike biome, which honestly, that's pretty sweet. We have a lot of Pokemon around. Oh my gosh, a Giratina Gyarados Fusion. Yo, that's an Ash Greninja, dude. I mean, I knew we edited the server so it could actually spawn as a normal Pokemon, but I did not think we'd find it. I thought we'd have to catch a Greninja with Battle Bond. Well, there we go. We have our Battle Bond Greninja. Moving on to the next round, Leon. What will you be hunting? I'm on a Dragapult. Are you kidding? Hey, yes! That mon is so good. <laughs> but now for my spin. Come on. Come Ooh. on, baby. Let's go. I will take that Lucario and I can mega evolve this. So we gotta find ourselves a Lucario. And I think this desert's honestly a great spot to look. I mean, Lucario's a steel type, so he probably likes sand, you know, to some degree. That is a Lucario Galarian Moltres fusion. Are you kidding me, Ash? Why couldn't you have a fusion Pokemon? Are you actually kidding me? That is a shiny Riolu. It's not a Lucario, so I can't catch it, dude. Whoa. If this was any other video, I would have caught the Riolu. But Ash Ketchum is an honorable, trustworthy trainer. Ash Ketchum wouldn't do that. Ash Ketchum wouldn't cheat. Oh my god, my team is actually kind of insane. Charizard, Rillaboom, and a Dragapult now. Let's go. Dragapult is like one of the best Pokemon in the game. And that's another Rillaboom. Ra Rillaboom, are you going to run away from me like the first one? And that's a Dragapult right there. Dragapult, thank you very much. Okay, that was very easy to find, actually. I just saw that. 
I just saw... Th That's a shiny ditto. What? Wait, wait, wait. I don't know what to be more excited about. The shiny ditto or the Lucario? Wait, what? Dude, give me that Lucario. Also, wave to shiny ditto. What's up, buddy? That is really cool, but we got a Lucario. Time for the next round. So, three rounds down, three more to go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, Let's mm -hmm. see what you get. And, oh, that is not... Hey, this is a very oh, underrated Seismitoad. Pokemon. Seismitoad. So, you got a very bulky Pokemon. I need something mm -hmm. that can take out bulk. That's how we do it. Dracovish. Dracovish Fish is easily my favorite fossil Pokemon, so I'm excited about this. And a beach is probably the best place to find it. I mean, he's a water-type fossil Pokemon, so like, come on, it just makes sense. Look, a fossil Pokemon's taking a bath right now, and he's weak to water. So that's gotta mean something, right? It's gotta mean something. So, Mr. Seismitoad, where would you like to spawn? It would kind of make sense that you spawned in the swamp biome, I can't lie to you, because you look kind of... Like a Pokemon that would normally live in the swamp. Nothing personal, obviously, but you know, you just give me off those vibes. Yes, and there we go. We have made it to the swamps. So, Seismitoad, please. Swamp starts with an S, and your name starts with an S as well. It's a match made in heaven. I know exactly what to do, ladies and gentlemen. Watch this. We go and snag up a pumpkin, okay? Then we put on the pumpkin. So now Seismitoad will feel at home because Seismitoad is not the most pleasing Pokemon to look at, let's just say. Nine tails ele- Yo, Electrode, what are you doing in the water? Huh? You're gonna electrocute everything in there, man. Oh, and that's a seismitoad. Yes, see, I told you it's gonna work. The pumpkin strat never fails. And this biome's a little small. I'm RTPing. Let's check this out. I can see a fossil being found in the mountains. This kind of makes sense. Oh, yo, he's over there. Wait, we gotta go save him. Wait, 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 unless... Can I trick shot him from over here and jump and I chuck him like that? Wait, that was close. This could definitely reach. Oh, trick shot. We caught it. Let's go. On to the final two rounds. And Ooh, oh, a Cinderace. Dude, that is not good for me. That Pokemon is too strong. I kind of need a fire type too. I'm not going to lie. And oh, I missed Incineroar, but Gengar is amazing. I will take that. So we got Dragonite and that is honestly so good, dude. I love Dragonite. And not only that, it's a great Pokemon too. It gets Dragon Dance, multi-scale as an ability. And we've definitely seen a few Dragonites today, so hopefully we can find one easily now. One thing I will say, though, is after catching this, our team is insanely weak to fairy type. So thankfully, Leon doesn't have any fairy Pokemon. However, he could still have fairy moves. And of course, we get Cinderace. I saw school bunnies and Raboot so many times before this, and now I actually have to catch one. Watch me not find a single one now. And we have found ourselves in the highest peak of the world, okay? Surely a Cinderace spawns here. Look, we are getting ho -O's. Okay, that is a legendary Pokemon. Oh my! <laughs> that is the smallest Cinderace I've ever seen. How is this even possible? You're like the size of my foot, man. Uh, either way, though, get in this Master Ball right now. I needed a bit of change of scenery, and even though Dragonite is four times weak to ice, just maybe, maybe there's a chance we find it here. Who knows? But we gotta get super, super lucky. Either way, there's a Zekrom. I'm just trying to scan every inch of this ocean. I don't want to miss any... Am I stupid? Am I actually dumb? Was it here the entire time? Guys, I might be a little stupid. I, don't <laughs> I just turned to my left and it was there. I hope it was not there the whole time. But Mr. Leon, it is time for your last Ooh, wheel spin. Yes! And Intellion. what a way to end it. That is so good. But for my wheel spin, come on, Incineroar. Give me Incineroar. No! Arceus has answered my prayers. Let's go. So it is the final round and I am so glad we got Incineroar. We need a fire Pokemon on our team. And Incineroar is just a great Pokemon to have on the team. And wait a sec, I'm actually gonna check this desert out. I mean, it is a fire type Pokemon. So there's a chance I was fighting it anywhere in this game. I mean... It's gotta be right here. I think Incineroar is also one of my favorite starter Pokemon from Alola. And that's mostly because Incineroar is in Super Smash Bros. I just love playing him in that game. So we are looking for a Inteleon, a certified sniper Pokemon, okay? This is a Toxic Rogue, a ninja-like Pokemon. We, they are basically the same thing. So we are in the right place. Oh, I saw something blue. Hold up. And that's a Totodile, okay. Oh, that's another blue thingy. Hello. And that's... Oh, Inteleon! Yes! Of course! It all makes sense now. Inteleon is chilling in the hot springs. Okay. I see you, my guy. I see you. Get on the squad right now. Yes, dude! Oh, there it is. Finally. What's up, man? Hey, he's trying to bully this Blast Ogre. You think you could take on a Blastoise Kyogre Fusion? But now we have our full team. It's time to level them up to 100 and challenge Leon. But it is now time for the World Championship 
Battle versus Leon. Ash versus Leon. It all comes down to this, bro. I gotta go for the Dragon Dance. Okay, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be confused soon, though. We got one kill. Rillaboom does go down. Okay, I think you, you do live one. Oh my gosh, oh my never mind. God. I got a three-turn no! outrage. Come on. I just clicked E-Speed on faint a ghost Faint it, faint it, faint it. Yes! Oh! <laughs> no way you had quick attack. Yes! I had water shuriken. Dude, the well, tiny Cinderace kind of carry there. Can't lie to you. <laughs> he just took out like eight mods. Draco Bishop got out. Yes! Speed. No. Let's go. No. I don't think you outspeed Mega Lucario. Because I got extreme speed. Oh, that did nothing. The sucker punch. No. Oh, my God. The I'm so low. Match, and I get the boost. Yes. Let's no. go, Dragapult. It all comes down to this. Woo. Pikachu versus Dragapult. And we live. No. Does it kill? Yes. Dragapult goes down. And Ash Ketchum is the champion. GG. Today, we're racing through the Pokemon alphabet in Minecraft Pixelmon. We catch Pokemon starting with the letter A and make our way through the entire alphabet to the letter Z. And the first person to complete the Pokemon alphabet is the winner. And it starts now. Good luck, sir. Good luck, bro. Let's do this. And is this an A? Pokemon. Yes, it is an Arceternatus fusion Pokemon. Do count for this video. And I should mention the only rule is that we can't go out of order. Oh, wait, guys, I found A. This is Arceternatus. I was not expecting to find a fusion Pokemon, especially this early on in the video. But that's my A done. Let's go. So now we need to find a Pokemon that starts with the letter B. Let's do this. I see V. That is not B. And there's a Zerka tree. That's X. That's like the hardest letter, probably. Oh, and a Bear Tick. Bear Tick right here. There we go. There is Beak. There's a bear tick and a clay doll. That's gonna be my C. Oh my gosh. I gotta wait for that to catch. You know what? No, I actually don't think I do. Hey, Arpis, I'm already on letter D. You're on D. Okay, well, I'm about to get C right here. I'm catching up, bro. Oh, I'm on D. Let's go. Oh, okay. I gotta go fast. Oh, there's the decidui right there. Okay, this desert area has so many. Let's go, baby. How many Pokemon start with E? I feel like not many. I like the bars. Let's go. Just as I say that, things start heating right back up. Okay, now we're on to F. It's gonna be crazy, though, when we get to S, because you wanna know what Pokemon starts with S? Subscribe? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, and here's our E-Pokemon, Electros. Let's go, baby. Get in the ball. Okay, we're doing decent. Five Pokemon down. I need something. Hello. Give me F Pokemon. It's up in a tree. Can I catch it? Hey, there we go. Okay, so Flaffy is caught. F done. So I think I'm going to stay around this area because if I can find an F, then I can catch G for Giratina. But that means we are now on G. Okay, what, what is a G Pokemon? Gyarados. There we go. Oh, there's one right here. Glalie. Oh, okay. I was actually really nervous about this letter. I could think of like only one or two Pokemon that start with G. That is so convenient. Okay, H is next. Where's H? You're on H already? I just found my F. Oh my gosh. Wait. Oh, and now I can catch Giratina for G. And now I'm on H. My brain is huge, bro. What Pokemon even start with H? There's like Happiny. That's all I can think of. And I'm pretty sure there's more than just one. <laughs> also, the whole evolution line of Hatterene, those work. <gasps> Huntail! Yes! Okay, here is an H Pokemon. One of my favorite Pokemon, too. Don't ask why. I don't know. Okay, H and then I is after H. So I'm looking for H and like maybe an I. If I see an I, I'll hover around it. H. Oh, yeah! And there's a Heracross. Let's go! There is H off the list. So now we're at I. But now we're on the letter I. And let's see, what starts with I? Oh, this just reminded me, Sobble doesn't work, but Inteleon does. If we find Inteleon, that'd be so nice. I got an idea. Let's go to the ice biome here. Because come on, ice, it starts with I. It's the letter I, same thing. We should get some luck. Oh my God, so many Pokemon are spawning in, but none that we need. <gasps> Never mind, Incineroar. Okay, that was so clutch. Come here, buddy, come here. Let's go, dude. Okay, I is done. Next up is J. What starts with J? I just found I. I got an Impidim, bro. No. <laughs> so we're tired. All right, I'm on J now. I feel like I've seen a couple jump plops already. I'm not gonna lie. So you better watch out. You better not hide because the big siren's coming for you. All I can think of right now is Jang Moa. I feel like that's not correct though. Like there has to be another. Jirachi, Jirachi. Okay, come on. I don't see anything over here, bro. As long as Cyru doesn't make it past J though, I'm fine. Because if we're still stuck on this letter when he gets past it, that's when we're in trouble. Oh, let's go. I found a Jolteon. <gasps> 
Oh my gosh, yes, dude, Joltik. Get in the ball. I can't even catch it. What is he doing? Okay, yes. Okay, so J is done. We can move on, which means K is our next letter. I'm thinking Kecleon right now. What else starts with K? We got Kartana, Kangaskhan. Pretty decent amount of K Pokemon, but can we find them? Let's see. My brain, dude. I, every single new letter that I get, I almost like hope to not catch any more Pokemon because every time I get a new letter, my head explodes trying to think of all of the Pokemon that start with that letter. But I cannot find find any K Pokemon. I named like three. There should be some here. Come on, man. Show me like a Keldeo. That'd be a great Pokemon to get. The best thing I could do right now is just try to brainstorm more Pokemon that start with K. So like when I... S Wait. No, I thought that was a Komala. No, dude. I straight up thought that was a Komala. Oh my God. Wait. That works though. Clink. It still starts with K. Let's go. There's a Clang, baby. Oh, Crocodile. Let's go. You can Crocodile right on into my master ball, boy. Now we're on L, which is something we're not about to take today. Only W's around here. Okay. Larvesta. Larvitar. Lapras. Oh, hey, I guess I'm taking an L because I just found one right here. I'm, I'm a little ahead, bro. You got to catch up. Luminion? Is that what that thing's called? Yeah, Luminion. Let's go. Luminion. But we are on M. I feel like this should be a relatively easy letter. Let's just see, though. Come on. Mongoose? Young Goose. Gosh, dang it. I think it's called a mongoose in real life. Wait, wait, wait. This could literally be it right here. Guys, no exaggeration. This could be it. Is it Mewtwo Aura or Zera 2? It's Mera Aura. Mewtwo Zera Aura Fusion. It does count. There we go, baby. Flareon, hello. Ooh, ooh, Marowak, yeah! There's my M, now I'm on N. So there's our second fusion of the challenge. Not bad at all, but now we are on N. <gasps> Necrozma, there we go. There's our N Pokemon, let's go. Cottony, Kangaskhan, Grimmsnarl. Nino, no, 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 die, don't no, die, it's a Nidoran. Please let me catch you before you die. Yes, Nidoran, let's go. Oh, that is actually so, so huge. And literally, like, that Pokemon is giant. And now we're on O with only 12 more letters to go. We gotta wrap this this up, baby. Come on. But guys, I'm getting super nervous about this letter. Like, I, I really don't know what we can catch here. I wonder what Pokemon Cyru thinks he's gonna catch this round. Like, Onion? Like, no way this dude knows any Pokemon that start with O. Garagoro! Let's go! Oh! Come on, show me an O Pokemon. I didn't think this letter would be so difficult. There's nothing over here. Scatterbug, Pansage, no! Raikou, that doesn't work. Zekrom, no. Oh, it would just be a gift from Arceus to get an O Pokemon here, please. <gasps> Onyx! Yes! There we go, baby! Okay. Okay, so there we go. Onyx is done. Now we're on to P. There's Poipol. There's Pissimeon. There's so many that I just can't even say any more of them because I am getting overwhelmed by all of the P Pokemon. Oh my god, yes. That's a Pancham. Holy crap. Okay, get in the ball. There we go. Poliwhirl. Yeah, dude. I literally saw him when I was over there. I was running over and I was like, just, what is that Pokemon called again? I gotta forget. But Poliwhirl, let's go. And now we are on Q. Come on, new area. Show me a bunch of Pokemon right off the bat. Let's go. Let's go. Q. Oh no, dude. I can't. One Pokemon that starts with Q. Quaquavel. Quaquavel. We saw one already today. Can we find another one? Quagsire. Quagsire. That's another one. I feel like those are probably the only two Pokemon that start with Q in the entire game. There's a few other Q Pokemon too. There's obviously Quillava. There's Quillinin. There's Quaxly, like the pre evos to Quaquavel. So there's a decent amount of Pokemon available, but can we find them? I don't know. Come on. Come on. I need a Q. I need a Q. I need a Q. Dude, this is taking forever. Q is taking so long. This might be the longest letter that I've been on so far, which does make sense because Q is not a very common letter to be used, let alone at the start of words or names or Pokemon for that matter. <gasps> I see that. I see a quillfish swimming. Get in the ball. Get in the ball. Yes. Okay, we caught it. There we go. Q is done. Now it's R. Where's... Oh, are you kidding me, dude? Are you actually kidding me? Why couldn't you spawn earlier? What's going on? Oh, yes! Quaquavel! Let's go! Oh my gosh! Arpus most certainly has to be in the lead right now. There's no way it took him that long to get Q, but R! R! Wait, it's Q-R-S-T-U-V. I feel like the next couple should be pretty quick. But now we're on R, and we can do this. Come on. There's gotta be a decent amount of R Pokemon. Oh! There's one right there! Rock Rub. Okay. Thank you, game. Relicanth. Oh! No way! No way! Literally the one Pokemon that I said. I literally just said Relicanth. It was the only Pokemon I could think of. And of course it spawns right in front of me. There's no way, dude. What? Actually, the chances of that are insane. And now we're on S. Okay, come on. There's a bunch of S Pokemon. Let me RTP. Show me an S Pokemon. Come on. We need one right here. Yes! Sandaconda. There we go. There is an S Pokemon. T, T, T. Copperajas. Stack Attacker. Snorlax. Timber, yeah! 
Yeah, let's go. I never would have thought of timber in a million, jillion, billion years, but I will take a timber. We are on to T now. I feel like we're making some really good progress. And come on, what's a T Pokemon? Torkoal. He's just chilling on the water. I don't know why, but that is one. Get in the ball. Yes. Okay. Torkoal caught. And now we're on you. Okay. You Pokemon. What? Uh, Ursaring. Ooh, there's a Vespa Queen here, which would be the following letter to you. So I think I'm going to chill in this area and try to find a Pokemon that starts with you so that I can get you and V back to back. Because I think V is going to be a tough letter as well. We got to find this you Pokemon. I cannot let this be the death of me. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Oh, an Ursaring. I didn't even think of this Pokemon. I don't know why, but we got Ursaring. <gasps> oh, ah, Soxy! Oxy, Oxy! And I was camping next to a Vespa Queen in case that happens. So now I got you and V back to back. I'm on W. Let's go, dude. Come on. But dude, V, that is so tough. Vespa Queen's like the only one I can think of. But we're gonna RTP. I can't stand that biome. Come on. Desert, you have never let me down ever. Yes! Oh, wait, is that a shiny? I don't wanna get too distracted, but yeah, that's a shiny Blossom. Okay, anyways. Venusaur, there we go. V! And now we need W, bro. Come on, we gotta find this Pokemon first. I need this. We've been finding a bunch, and I mean a bunch of wall rings. So come on, wall rain. If you ever wanted to appear, now is the time. Why, hello there, you peasant. What are you doing here? Turn around and Mr. Cyrus is next to me. Me. Yeah, how am I looking? How am I looking good? I've been hitting the gym. Oh my god. I'm so glad you were looking the other way. There's a war turtle right there. Aww. Oh my god. <gasps> Weezing! Yes, sir! I only know one Pokemon that starts with action. That's Xerneas. There's Xerneas, and then there's um Zatu. Oh my god, there's a freaking Natu right here. I went a different way. I figure it's already hard enough to get one to spawn, so if we split off into two different directions, more Pokemon will spawn, which makes it easier. I I'm so glad you split off. Xerneas, baby. I'm on Y. Oh, he took the lead. This is really, 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 really bad. Let's go, baby. Let's go. <laughs> oh, and there's a Z Pokemon right next to me. <gasps> yes. Oh, my gosh. Let's go. That's a Xerxesis. That is a Xerxesis. It's a Xerxes tree and Deoxys fusion starts with X. Let's go. Which means I am on Y now. All right, but let's find this Y Pokemon. We need to find Eveltal or Young Goose or is that it? I can't think of any more. It might actually just be two Pokemon that start with Y, huh? I found a baby Evelto. Oh, let's go! Oh my god, okay, I'm on Z, I'm on Z, I'm on Z, I'm on Z, I'm on Z. Dude, you got Evelto. Beltal, I need that type of luck, bro. I feel like I'm just going through. Wait! I've never been happier to catch a Yanma in my life. It is tied at Z to Z. Oh my gosh. All right, come on. Let's do it. Dude, I'm so nervous. Good luck. There's Zacian. There's Zangoose. There's Zubat. There's a lot of Z Pokemon, honestly. Wait, you're right there! <laughs> Let's go! Uh, I wanted you to say Zacius because I just found one, baby! Let's go! So Cyrude is the alphabet challenge winner. GG. Today we can't choose the wrong door in Minecraft Pixelmon. And whichever door we choose, we have to catch the Pokemon that was behind it. And these Pokemon can be anything from a Weedle to a Mega Blaziken all the way to a Rayquaza. And after we each go through six rounds, we battle with our final teams to decide the winner. And Mr. Sairu, the challenge starts now. Are you ready? I see all your doors. I've never been more ready to open doors in my life. Let's do this. Good luck, sir. Good luck, bro. So here we have our first three door options. A yellow, a pink, and a lime green door. And of course we have our hint. So we have one pseudo legendary and we know our gens are one, one, and two. So let's think about this. The pseudo legendary from gen one is Dragonite and Dragonite's like a yellow orangish color. So maybe this is the Dragonite? Behind these doors, one of them is a fully evolved starter Pokemon with the generations one, one, and two. Well, I'm thinking we might have a Charizard behind the orange one. But then again, with Gen 2, we have Tyranitar, and Tyranitar is green. And I think there's a better chance of Tyranitar being behind the green door than Dragonite being behind the yellow. So we're gonna lock in the green door for our very first round and just hope that it's a Tyranitar. So I'm locking in orange, but let's see what we missed out on. Yeah. Oh, a Caesar! That is not. I mean, it's good. Don't get me wrong. I actually would have been really happy with the season, but it's not the one that we wanted. It is not a fully evolved starter. Let's see what is behind the blue door. Oh, it's a Lapras, which is actually a sick Pokemon as well. I would also have been pretty happy to get that, but season one generation two, Lapras generation one, which means that there's one more generation one here and it's orange. Yeah, and it must be the fully evolved starter. Show me Charizard, baby. Let's go. So we're locking in the green door, hoping that it's a Tyranitar. Let's see what we missed out on first. All right, from the pink door, we're pretty sure it's not a pseudo. We have a Cliff. 
Abel. Let's find out if we chose correctly in three, two, one. Da! Yes, and it is a Tyranitar, which means we get to catch our very own level 68 Tyranitar. Let's go, baby. Mr. Cyber, we are on to round number two. I don't know how you did on round number one, but uh, I want you to know I'm feeling pretty good right now. I actually crushed it. I guessed what Pokemon it was going to be from the get-go, and I got it. On to round two. Here we go. We have one legendary in gens three four and four. Oh, let's see if we can track down this legendary that'd be crazy what if this blue one is a kyogre that would be insane can i think of any other like i mean this could maybe be a dark ride Ooh, or a giratina giratina's got a lot of black on it and it's from gen four see so yeah, i think we're gonna stay away from the orange door i just can't think of any legendary pokemon from gen three or four that fits so it's between the black and the blue door here and now that i think about it this blue door could actually be kyogre and dialga so i think we're gonna take the safer bet and go with the blue door here. We have one mythical and all are fully evolved. I feel like I can't really go wrong here. I mean, the only mythical in generation one is Mew. So it can't be Mew. Generation five. See, I'm thinking is Mel Metal a mythical or legendary? I don't know, but I also think he might be gen seven anyway. Is he gen eight? I don't know, dude. Okay, mythical. I think this could be Genesect, this purple one, and that could be the mythical. I'm gonna go with purple. But let's find out what we missed in the black door. No! <laughs> Which means our blue door Pokemon is a Whalmer. Oh no. Dude, look how happy he is. But happiness is not gonna win us the Pokemon battle. I'll tell you that much. So let's see what we missed out on. Three, two, one. Oh, a Swanna? I think that's what this is called. Maybe the most lame Pokemon ever. It's like a knockoff Pelipper. It's a trash version of Pelipper. Please don't be the mythical. Three, two, one. No, Zerud. That would be the mythical. I was wrong. Please just don't be too bad. Three, two, one. Oh, a Gengar. I'm happy about that. Let's go. Moving on to round three now, Mr. Cyrid. All right, I'm not going to lie to you. I just had a very rough round. <laughs> you know what? Since no one's lying, I won't lie either, Arpis. I had a really great round. <laughs> of course, of course. Back did. to All back, right. See great you through rounds. the wall. Let's You're go. creeping on me right now. Let's just mm -hmm. move on. Round number three. We have one fully evolved starter. Ooh, okay. Gens one, three, and seven. I definitely want that fully evolved starter. I mean, red and blue right away stand out to me because fire and water type. But there's definitely some brown fully evolved starter Pokemon. Rillaboom right off the top of my head. So I think to play Safe. We should probably go with either blue or red, but which one? This honestly seems like such a coin flip. It could really be either one of these. Last time we locked in the blue door. We have a cyan door here. I think since we went with the blue last time, I think we should mix it up and go for the red door right here. Oh, I'm so nervous. Please be a fully evolved fire starter Pokemon. That would be amazing. This is like a Charizard or an Infernape or something. That'd be so good. All right, one legendary, one mythical generation one, two, and two. Okay, generation one legendaries are Zapdos. It could be Mew, but Mew is, oh, Mew's mythical. So this could be generation one mythical Mew. Maybe Raikou? Raikou could be yellow. And then I think black is gonna be nothing because there's no black legendary in the first two generations. So let's open the blue door first and see what we missed out on. Ah! Ooh, okay, a Vaporeon. I am very okay missing out on that. And that's simply because we already have a water type. Vaporeon's a great Pokemon, but we have a Whalmer, which means the red door can contain the fully evolved starter. Let's see if it does, baby. Come on, show me a Charizard. Oh, not a Charizard, but we did get the fully evolved starter. Let's see what was in the brown door. Oh, a Shiftry. So not a Rillaboom. Thankfully, we went with the red door. So we can catch our very own Incineroar. We'll start with Raikou. Let's see if I get it right. It is. Okay. Let's see if this is a random black Pokemon. It is. It's an Umbreon, which means my brain is huge, pretty much. This has to be Mew. Bingo bongo. Mew is mine, baby. My team has to be better than Arpus's. Ha ha ha. Arpus, dude. I'm kind of crushing it. I'm not going to lie. Every single round, I've got the best Pokemon that I could get. I want you to know, in the last one, I did get the best Pokemon possible. I'm two for three right now. So you know what? A lot of more game left to be played. Let's get it, bro. Let's go. Good luck. So it seems like we're down one good Pokemon. We really need to catch up. But here we have one bear, 
one king and one trash. Gen's one, five, and five. All right, well, it says one trash, gen five. That's probably Trubbish or Garbodor. That would just make sense to me. Is Garbodor more green or purple? Oh, oh it's probably, it's probably green. It's probably green, because Trubbish is all green. So I'm gonna say that this green door here is either Trubbish or Garbodor for the one trash. Oh, king, this has to be Needle King, right? Did I just get it right? Is this a bear tick? Is this a Needle King? And is this a Garbodor? I think we probably want the Needle King. I don't think bear tick's gonna help us out that much. And I don't see how Garbodor, the literal trash, is going to help us. So I think the purple door, hoping that it's Nido King, is probably the best play here. So I think that's what we're gonna lock in. One Paradox Pokemon. That has to be the Generation 9. It has to be. One Legendary. And the Generations are 2, 3, and 9. So anyway, we know that we have a Legendary from Generation 2 or 3. <gasps> There's green. It could be Rayquaza from Generation 3. I almost want to roll the dice and lock that in. I'm gonna go with green. Well, let's see if we got these other ones correct. If this is a bear tick behind this door. I am a genius. Oh, and it's a bear tick. Okay. I think I cracked the code on this one. So this one is surely a Garbodor. And it's a Garbodor, which means surely we chose a Needle King. We did. Okay. We cracked the code on all three of the Pokemon for that round. That is actually crazy, but get in the ball, Needle King. And that is a victory for me. I will take that. It would be so nice if Cy would get something bad on this round. Like we need that to happen. But let's see. Let's start with the blue. If this is Kyogre, I'm also going to be bummed. I don't know if I have to verbalize how bad that is, but that is very bad. That means that these last two is a random Pokemon and a Paradox. I hope that I get the Paradox. I think Tyranitar's future form is green. So maybe, but oh, I also feel like this is probably one of the Volcarona forms. No! Ooh, Flygon! Nah, what's going on with his eyes? Ew! Wait, that's actually creepy. But you know what? I will take a Flygon. Moving on to the fifth round. Only one more round after this. And Mr. Saw, I just want to tell you, um, my hint says two legends and one mom. Either way, I'm going to the battle with a solid Pokemon here, I'm pretty sure. That is that is pretty awesome. Please get the mommy for me. Well, yeah, you heard it here first. Two legends and one mommy. All right. Gens two, three, and eight. So let's figure out this mommy Pokemon. This is only like two Pokemon that anyone would call mother. That's probably Lopany and Gardevoir. And this pink door right here might be Gardevoir. I mean, I don't think Gardevoir is actually that pink. Yeah, Gardevoir's actually got like no pink on it. What could, this could be a shiny low punny. Ooh, so we could have an Entei here. We could maybe have a Raikou here. Or a Groudon or Latios in this one from Gen 3. Gen 8. Can I think of any legends? I mean, Tapu Koko could be in the yellow one. But that being said, I feel like I want to choose the red door. Because if we could get a Groudon here, that would be insane for our team. I guess Tapu Lele could be in this pink door. But where would the mommy be? I'm so confused. I'm just going to go with my gut. We are locking in the red door. Hmm, his might have mommy, but mine has mega. One mega Pokemon. One with no evolution. Generations 3, 4, and 4. I'm not gonna lie, that doesn't help me at all. This is probably the least revealing sign ever because I think that there's a lot of mega Pokemon from Generations 3 and 4. Like, this could be Sharpedo. Yeah, guys, I, 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 I'm trying to think about, like, what to do here. I haven't picked blue or brown. Do I have blue my last round? I do. Okay, I'm gonna go brown then because there's no more brown and I haven't picked brown yet. I feel like it's a sleeper pick. Let's lock in brown. I really have no idea what to expect. That means I need to figure out what's in this pink door first. Alright, we need to see. Please show me not a legend. Don't be a Tapu Lele, please. Uh, yes! I have never been happier to see a mill tank in my life. Oh, that is so perfect, because that means we chose one of the two legendary Pokemon. Let's see the one we missed out on first. Let's see what was in the yellow door. What's the legendary Pokemon we have? Ooh, a Regilecki. I totally forgot that that was a Gen 8 Pokemon, but that means this is a Gen 3 legendary that is red. This could so be a Groudon. Please be a Groudon. Please don't be a Latias. Please be a Groudon. Yay! Yes, dude! Oh, we guessed it correctly. A Groudon was behind the red door. So we can catch our very own Groudon. Dude, we needed that so bad on the team. Let's see what's behind the purple door. Oh, Spirit Tomb. Oh, that's the no evolution. That actually would have been really good. But I have Gengar already, so I don't need two ghost types. That's kind of okay. Let's see what's behind the blue door. Oh, that's a Mega Altaria, which isn't great. Like, Mega Altaria isn't great. So I'm not too upset that I didn't get that. But I, what I am upset about is that that was the Mega Pokemon. Mom, which means the two rounds in a row. I got probably the worst Pokemon that I could get. Let's see what is behind this. Ooh, you know what? Even though I'm swinging and missing, these foul balls are still traveling quite a way. I will take a Mamoswine. I'm pretty happy about that, actually. Let's go. And now coming into the final round of doors before the final battle to decide the winner. And here we go. We have one singular 
hint. Gen 6 is our one hint. That means we have three Pokemon here from X and Y from the Kalos region. What could they be? I mean, obviously this blue one could be like a Greninja. Or we could have like a Chestnut here in the middle one. But what would this left one be? Eveltal? Oh, I just gave myself an idea. Wait a sec. Wait a sec. Okay, what if this is Eveltal? What if this is Zygarde? And what if this is Xerneas? It just makes sense. It totally just makes sense to me that these would all be legendary Pokemon. I mean, it is the final round. So which one do we want, assuming it's Eveltal, Zygarde, and Xerneas? So if, in fact, we do have Eveltal, Zygarde, and Xerneas, I think the best option for our team by far is picking Xerneas. Simply because we don't have a fairy type. Tyranitar is four times weak to fighting and we don't have an answer for that. So assuming this is a Xerneas, we're gonna lock in the blue door for the final round. I'm assuming all these Pokemon are generation four. Palkia, Pink, Black, Giratina, Dialga. Whoa! Wait, imagine it's those three. Okay, now it's a matter of who I want on my team. I really hope that my thought process is correct because if it is, and this is Dialga, I'm selecting it. I'm selecting Dialga because he's steel type. Steel drive. Dragon. I need that on my team. So that means we need to see if we were right. Let's open the black door. And if this isn't Eveltel, I'm going to cry. Ah! Oh! <laughs> oh, baby. Okay, so that's an Eveltel, which means the green door should be a Zygarde. It is, which means the blue door that we picked should be a Xerneas. Let's go, baby. What a way to end off the rounds. Two legends back to back. I think I want Dialga on my team. So please, Palkia? Yes! Also, no, like it's sad to see a really strong Pokemon that you're not getting because I want him. But also, it's making me feel like that my predictions are woo, gonna be correct. Three, two, one, boom! Boom! Dialga, join the team. Be my sixth Pokemon of my party. And it's time for the final battle. And we're here with the final showdown. Our final teams are ready to duke it out when we got Waylord versus Charizard. Really not a great matchup okay. for me. I'm mean? not gonna it's lie. It's a great matchup it's for Charizard. Pretty this is tough. Great. I missed. Brutal. So Waylord takes down Charizard. That's the first time I think I've ever seen that interaction. I won't lie. Am I about to get Aura Sphere and just die? No, you're not gonna die. Actually, you're not gonna die. Not gonna lie. I'm kind of surprised, but then again, Mew's really tanky. Mew goes down. Whoa, Going to the boy whoa, Dialga. Whoa, What's up, boy? Whoa, Come on, bring let's... it on. I don't think I outspeed you. Uh, oh no! Oh. One HP! Oh, it's three, three out of three hundred, baby. Whoa! 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 Calm down! You calm see down. that? There is no I got the way. Boost. There's no way he just got an ancient power boost. Oh. There's actually all of no my stats way. are plus fifty percent right now. Get it, Dialga! Go! Oh yes! My gosh, dude, Dialga's Come going on, on a Come tear on. here. Oh no! Oh no! Flash no! cannon. Hey, it is one Pokemon to one Pokemon down to the wire. You're still, dude, you still do a lot of damage. Moonblast takes down the Mamo Swine. GG, Mr. Cyrude. Good luck next time. Today we're racing through the Pixelmon Lucky Block Maze. But this time there's four different mazes that get bigger and more difficult every level. Whoever makes it out of a maze first wins the God Lucky Block at the end, which contains three random legendary Pokemon. And if you don't make it out of the maze, you lose all of your Pokemon for that round. And round one starts right now. Good luck. And yo, we found our first lucky block. Let's go, baby. And it upgraded right away. We only have 47 seconds, though. We need to get out of this maze. Okay, I cannot look at these lucky blocks. Like, let's do this. I suck at me. Oh, we found the thing already. What are we gonna be gay, Volpix? Come on, you should have given me a fully evolved Pokemon at least. Come on. Oh, here's another block. It's a hone edge. But where is the exit? That's the real question. There's another lucky block. And a tiny octopus dude this time, which is very nice. <laughs> Come on, I need to get myself to the exit to get the god lucky block. Oh, wait, I don't think I've been here. I don't think I've been here before. There's a lucky block. Let me grab that Goomy. Let's go, baby. Come on, come on, go. Oh, we made it. Let's go. Boom. We got some baby Pokemon and a Crimson Magirna. Yes, there we go. I made it out. I made it out. <gasps> no. Oh, uh, GG. All right, so round one, done. We were super, super close. Round two starts now. Use the torches. What torches are they talking about? And what would we use the torches for? I'm confused, dude. This time, this is a golden maze, okay? And the sign at the beginning said, watch out for the torches or something along those lines anyway. So if you look at the torches, we've 
will get a great ball lucky block apparently and that's a shiny sableye actually a pretty solid pokemon and another block right oh <laughs> a shiny stack attacker up is definitely saw that pokemon oh my god let's just stand on it and see where we got to go this is in the rules we are able to do that let's break it though we get a shiny anorith but let's just keep it moving there we go another lucky block oh there's the entrance okay we are doing very bad we are doing so bad right now okay so as you might have noticed the first maze was common lucky blocks this one is uncommon lucky blocks the next hardest will be rare lucky blocks and then epic for the final maze you see how it goes Ooh, come on come on there's so many walls oh my god i'm getting confused i feel like i'm going in circles right now and another common lucky block and we got an upgrade rare lucky block and we got meloetta let's go come on come on come on go why didn't i quit my running shoes i'll be running so much faster right now as well but yo i feel like we're making some progress i've just been running i haven't stopped in a while oh there's the exit i think right yeah it's right there i feel like i'm right at the beginning still what is this this maze is massive no that's a dead end i am so confused that's another dead end what is going on i am so lost right now i hope opus is lost as well hold on i think i just figured it out let me open this though we get a shiny magnemite okay buddy i think we go this way then we go this way hold on i might be onto something guys i might actually be onto something let's see okay never mind i'm not onto something let's get a shiny jirachi dude that is so good come on no what is going on this is really really bad i thought i was doing super well but no this is horrible i'm not seeing any lucky blocks as well which is the worst part because i could be oh there we go never mind and we get another upgrade okay and another Pokeball looking dude. Why? I have two of these now. And look at the timer. We only have three minutes. We have burnt two minutes of our time. You know what? I think I'm going to go back over this way. Let's see what we can do. I'm just going to keep jumping. How do I get over there, dude? This is so tricky. Okay, what if we go this way? I'm back at the entrance now. But hold on. I think this is what we need to do. Because I was on the wrong side. So if we go back to the... No, no, no. That doesn't... That's not right for sure. Come on. And I made it back to the entrance. Oh my god. God. I despise mazes. I hate everything about them, okay? Come on, just get me out of here. Give me the god block, please. By the looks of things, Arpus is struggling as well, which is very nice. Just under two minutes left on the timer, but I think we found it. No, we're so close. There's the exit. It's right there. Dude, Jay's right at the exit too, I think. Oh no. Come on, come on, come on, go. And I see the entrance again. Oh my god. Oh, okay, here we go. Lucky block. And it's a shiny Eveltel. Come on, go, go. Go, go. Oh, we made it again. Office, I have reached the end yet again. No, dude, you're destroying me. Let's go. <laughs> and I got insane legendaries as well. Oh, well, I just got a shiny tornadus. Okay, I'll take that. But I, I need to make it out. I only have them. Oh. I'm so mad, dude. You keep beating me by a second. Let's go. Third round starts right now. Good luck. Oh, there's a torch right here. Okay, I was wondering when we'd see one of these. What do we do with the torch? That's the real question. Wait, I think I know what they want us to do. See, like, look, we can put this torch right over here now, and we know that we don't have to go over there. It's like a dead end. That is actually gonna help out so much. I love that. Okay, we need to use that strategy, which means we just need to find more torches and also more lucky blocks. Where's these lucky blocks at? But come on, I need to win all of these maze runs to make sure Arpus doesn't stand a chance against me in the final battle. Please, I need all the god lucky blocks. Oh, there's one right there. How do we get there, though? Like, right here? Yeah, there we go. Okay, come on. Let's step here, though. We need to go this way, right? So let me open this up. It is a Dialga. Let's go. Oh, here we go. Okay, there's some progress. We are as far as we've been in this entire maze now, and it's a dead end. Okay, <laughs> that's just the cruel reality. You could think you're right at the end, but it's, it's really just a dead end. Oh, there's a legendary lucky block right here, and we got an upgrade to a shiny legendary one and we get your belt all let's go come on come on this time we have 10 minutes in total to complete this maze so i can actually take my time with this one because 10 minutes is a lot of time but this maze is also massive there's another lucky block and a regiel key oh, oh which way do i go do i go this way no that is quite literally a dead end okay go oh another lucky block here we go a zera aura we are actually getting super super nice legendaries right now we could be getting like mana fees and stuff but no we are actually getting usable legendaries Legendaries. Our best bet is getting as close as possible to the exit and then just trying to like map out the maze. But I don't know. We get a Keldeo from the lucky block. That is very powerful. I'll take that any day. That's a huge help. Oh, there's another one. Okay, here we go. Yeah, still over that way, right? Jeez, man. How do we get over there? And another Jirachi, which is cool, but I'll take my shiny one over that any day. Come on. I uh, Which way? Left or right? Uh, let's go right way. Oh, anything here? No, it's uh, it opened up a new path to a dead end. Oh, wait. Have I been here before? Have I been here before? I don't think I've been here before. Okay, let's go. We're 
seeing some progress. Seven minutes and 27 seconds left on the timer. I think we're making decent time here. Come on. I feel like Alphys is getting super close to the exit as well. So I need to speed this up quite a bit. Oh my gosh. I see Jay getting close too. I see him getting close. Oh, that makes me nervous. Plus he's got two god lucky blocks under his belt. So like we really need to win this round. Oh, there we go. Lucky block. Okay, let's stay. Dude, we're close. We just need to go right there. That's the exit. Come on, come on. Go. Oh, there's another lucky block right there. Come on. Give me a Rayquaza Eternatus. Boom. And we get Registeel. Okay. Oh, and another one. Here we go. Another Regielki. Stop giving me duplicates, game, please. <gasps> and he just got a Regielki. Okay, what do we get, though? We upgraded to a Shiny Melton. Are you freaking kidding me, dude? Okay, whatever. Oh, is anything in here? Come on. Nope, it's a dead end. Okay. Let's just keep moving on. Here we go. Wait, are we right at the end? Are we right here? No way. No way. How do I get over there? Yes. Yes. There we go, baby. I made it out. No, you actually made it. <laughs> Let's go. Five minutes to spare. Good luck, bro. Hope you make it out. Remember, if you don't make it out, you lose all of your legendaries from this round. Okay, that's really bad. Come on, please. We have two minutes left. This is really, really bad. I do not want to lose my legendary Pokemon, okay? I really don't. Oh, a lucky block right here. Come on. A upgrade, okay? And we get a shiny guaranteed. Oh my gosh, a shiny guaranteed. Calm down, bro. Okay, I need to make it out of this maze, okay? I do not want to lose these legendary Pokemon. Come on, please. One minute and 20 seconds left. This is not good. Please. Can he do it? What is going on? And we get shiny Manaphy. Okay, I need to find myself the exit right now. Oh my 25 seconds. No. Come on, please, please. Go, 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 go. I don't want to lose my legendaries. Dude, you're running out of time. Eight ah! seconds left. Come on. Three. Oh, no. Oh, freaking baby, let's go. Let's <laughs> go final round starts now. Good luck, Hoppus. On to the final round now. Oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. Ooh, two torches right off the bat. That's actually so good. Okay, we check this spot. That's a dead end. Let's use one right there. And another torch. Okay, here we go. Ooh, because lucky blocks are super good, but dude, I just want to know where we are in the maze. Like, I'll take as many torches as possible. We still got to get all the way over there, dude. This is so bad. Oh my gosh. We got given 20 minutes for this maze, and there's a lucky block with a torch already. And a shiny Mewtwo. Oh my god. Come on. I need to make it out of this maze. I need to keep that Mewtwo on my team. And we do have four torches, actually, so I should probably start using these as soon as possible. Let me place a torch right there because that is a dead end. And another lucky block right here and a shiny Tapu Bulu. And another... Dude, there's so many torches in this maze. Let's go. This just means I can place a torch right there so I know I don't need to go in that direction anymore. Oh, it's actually so nice. You can see the torches burning from like around the maze. Like, look at that. You don't actually have to be next to the torch. That's awesome. Come on. Come on. This looks new. I have not seen this. There we go. Lucky block. And it's a shiny Heatran, baby. Okay, there we go. But come on. Give me some lucky blocks, please. Please, these are shiny legendary lucky blocks, which are probably the best lucky blocks in the game, right? Lucky blocks or the exit point. That's all I want to see. If I see a dead end, I might cry. Ooh, but over here, now nah, this does not look right. There is a lucky block and it's a shiny ho -oh. Give me that, baby. We got to get as many good Pokemon as we can because right after this round, we battle. So we need to make it out of this maze if we want to keep our shiny legendaries. There's the entrance. You know what? I'm going to try this side. We went left from the entrance. What if we try right? Gotta remember I have these two torches still. I'm going to put one right there so we know that's a dead end. Ooh, but yo, hold on. I see a lot of opening here. Let's just keep going. Ooh, come on, come on. Left or right, left or right. I'll go left. Come on. And a lucky block right here. Let's go. A shiny Urshifu. Very valuable asset to my future team. Ooh, okay. We found a lucky block. I need to do this more. Standing on the lucky blocks is so genius. So that's the exit. That's where we need to be. Oh, can I get there from here? Let's just open the lucky block. We get a shiny Zarude. Okay, there we go. I think I actually go this way. Right, and then I like turn right and then turn again? Wait, it was right. Okay, hold on. Maybe this is actually where we need to be. There's a lucky block here. Dude, no, I'm getting further away. I have no idea what I need to do. Come on, come on. Oh, another lucky block. A shiny spectre. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. I also ran out of torches, which is very, very bad. So this is the part where I get super lost yet again, like I did in the previous maze. Come on, man. Okay, there's a torch there, dude. I am I'm just getting destroyed in this maze. This is so bad. Every single time I think I find a pathway to the exit, it is all always a dead end, dude. Oh, a torch. There we go. Okay, now I know I don't need to go in that direction. Thank you, torches. Oh, wait. I have not tried this yet. I'm on the right 
wall of the maze right now. Wait, there's a lucky block. Okay, what is... Ooh, shiny Xerneas. Don't mind if I do, but let's just keep this going. That's a dead end. Oh, another one. Yes, we just got a good lucky block. Oh my God. What are we gonna get? We get a Volcanion, Fiony, and a Galaxy Glassfield. Let's go. Let's just keep it going. We are so close. I'm looking for Jay's name tag. Where is he in that maze? No idea. But we are getting closer to the end. 100%. Nope, that's a dead end. All right, cool. What about this? Dude, I feel like we're getting so much closer, but I just don't know where. Come on. Come on. Come on. Nothing there. Another dead end. Why? Please. We could get like another torch or something. Wait, can I grab that torch? No, I can't. I don't think I can get in there. Dang it. That's fine. But guys, we only have four minutes and 30 seconds left. And there's a dead end right here. Dude, the exit is right there. And I need to beat Jay in this round. He already got two god lucky blocks. I need my second. Oh. Oh my god. Okay, I found the entrance yet again. Why? Why do I keep doing this to myself? Please. I keep finding the entrances over and over again, and I wasted so much time. And there's just under two minutes left, guys. This is so bad. We need to make it out of this maze first. Oh, I keep going to that same dead end. That's a dead end right there. That's a torch, so that's a dead end as well. It's just dead end city. What is going on here? This maze has to be cursed. Dude, is this it? Is this it? Please tell me this is it, dude. Hold on, there's a lucky block there but what okay dead end here there's a lucky block here we can stand on it oh my gosh <gasps> let me open this let me open this as fast as possible we got a shiny hoopa and here is the exit we made it out there's only two minutes left oh no this is not looking good for me but that's a lucky block right there and a shiny thunderous okay either way though i need to make my way to the exit as soon as possible i do not want to lose the shiny me to be captured earlier that's the last thing i want to do i got a baby rayquaza a shadow diancy and a shiny cosmo which sucks but you know what we won there we go come on we got 30 seconds left please <laughs> Go! I've done this once before. I made it out the last second. Come on. No, 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 no. Oh! <laughs> oh, my God. And it's time for the final battle. And it's Heatran versus Entei. Two very powerful fires. Oh, my God. Of course, I missed Stone Edge. Hopefully, you don't have any grass Pokemon that come out next. Might be a little brutal, bro. I'm a plus fire Heatran. Well, what do I do against fire types? I check out a water type. <gasps> For uh -huh. baby Kyogre. <laughs> the only way I can justify taking this out is with another you baby. Have a baby as well. <laughs> there we go. Baby Rayquaza. Okay. Luckily for me, I have this move called Ice Beam. Please tell okay. me you don't actually have Ice oh, Beam. The critical hit? Dragon Ascent? Okay. To, to, okay. You know I mean, I'll take okay. some luck. You have a shiny Xerneas. Yeah, I do. Let's see, mm. Moonblast. Oh, Let me just no. clean my hands real quick. Oh. All right, here we go. I saw you get this. I saw you get a shiny Giratina. But can I do anything to it? That's the real question. Dragon Claw just oh. destroys me. Oh, Giratina. Mwah. Yeah, here comes the Xerneas. It is one Pokemon to one Pokemon no, no, now. Please. Moonblast. Oh, I live. Barely takes it out. But the future sight finishes Woo. it off. Giratina goes down. GG. I'm the G -G. maze champion. We randomized our starters to Mega Pokemon in Minecraft Pixelmon. In each round, we can only choose one Mega Pokemon from our three starter options. And after we each have a full team, we'll battle to decide the Mega Pokemon champion. Kicking it off now with the first round. Come on, let's see my starter. Let's go. What are you going to get? I see one already. That's really good. Oh. Oh, here we go. Let's go. Oh my gosh. No way. You got a Charizard. Okay. So we have Mega Agron, Mega Charizard X, who's getting cut off by Agron's so big, dude. <laughs> He's huge. And then Mega Heracross. Okay. Uh, I don't know what to go with. Obviously, Mega Charizard is so cool, but I love Mega Agron too. Yeah. I think Agron looks cooler, but Charizard might be better for battling. I don't really know, honestly. I don't know either. I think, you know what? I'm going to try for Mega Charizard. If it just catches Mega Aggron, I'm not going to be upset. Yeah, that totally might happen. There you go. Mega Charizard X. All right, let's see what I get in my oh. first round. Dude, I'm so nervous because who's going to get Mega Rayquaza? Ooh, that is a good point. That's like the strongest Mega in the game. Hopefully it's me. Oh, I see two already. Mega oh. Blaziken, Mega Garchomp, and Mega Aerodactyl, oh. bro. That's some power. Who the heck am I supposed to pick? These are all so cool. I love how Mega Garchomp flies, too. Look at him. I know. He's like levitating. How is he doing that? I am going to go with Mega Blaze again. Ooh, good choice. I think it has to be. Thank you. Thank you. Not bad. Moving on now to round two. I'm very happy with round one, but come on. Let's see what we can... 
Ooh. I don't even want. Oh. I don't even need to look. I don't even need to look. Are you serious? Yo. Oh my gosh, dude, you are so lucky. <laughs> So we get Mega Gengar, Mega Mewtwo X, and Mega Houndoom, who's just kind of there, but it's whatever. I love Mega Houndoom. He looks so cool. Don't get me wrong. He's got a great design, but I mean, next to these guys, like, I really don't know. That's true. Well, who are you going with between Gengar and Mewtwo, though? Because they're both super strong. Dude, I don't even know. Like, they're both Uber's Pokemon. Like, both of these are insane. I feel like I'd be stupid, though, if I didn't pick the Mega Mewtwo. So we're going with Mega Mewtwo X. All right, let's see what I get for round number two. You have two super strong Pokemon already, so I'm going to need something here. I mean, yeah, you really do. Come on, please, please, please. Oh, man, give me a kiss. Okay, that's what good luck. That's a good luck. It's a good, it's a good luck kiss. No, I did not it's... expect that. Okay, let's just see your Pokemon. Oh, yeah! Oh, I guess it worked. I told you, bro. That's, that's a good luck. Yo, your methods, bro. <laughs> Yeah, seriously, they might be a little unconventional, but they totally work. So we have a Bennett, a Caesar, and a lot of yas. Mm, you looking my fine. All right, what are you picking from these three? Honestly, I might go for the Caesar, where even the lot of yas is so strong. What? That's a mega lot of yas. All right, I think after a long, hard thought decision that I will go with 360. Lot of yas. Okay, lot that, of was, yas. that was the worst <laughs> trick shot, but you still got it. You still got it. It's the effort. It's the effort that counts. Let's go. Moving on now to the next round. Can I add any more power to my team? And you know what? You know what, bro? I'm looking at this. No, no, it, you know, no, no, it, no, 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 no. You no, can't steal it. my tactics. I did it. I did it. Oh my gosh. And it worked because you know what? I got a Mega Mawile. That is one of the most broken Megas. We got Mega Glalie and Mega Beedrill, which is another very good Mega. Yeah, that is that is true. There's some good ones here. Who are you going to go with? Look, who do I want? I got to inspect every inch, every square inch of these Pokemon. Which one do I want? I mean, dude, Mega Mawile is one of my favorite Megas. If I pass it up, I feel crazy. But Mega Beedrill adaptability, such a good ability to have. But honestly, I'm doing it. Mega Mawile, that's my final choice. Glalie, we love you. Sorry about that. All right, round number three, baby. Let's see what I get. Will you bless me today with some good Pokemon? If this works again, if this somehow works again. Mwah. Okay, all right, let's see. Oh! Oh! No! I bet you, you don't want to you don't want to go that way. Oh my gosh, you see it. You're right. I know. I don't want to see it. I'm leaving. I'm, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Bye. I got a Mega Obama Snow. Let's go, <laughs> baby. No way. It's my favorite. All right. All right. I have an idea. What, I have an idea. Maybe, like, you don't catch uh, this Pokemon. Yeah, yeah. How about that? How about that? How about that? Oops. <laughs> Mega Big Mars is mine! And there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> Next round, okay. Well, after that round, I need to play catch up, bro. Mega Rayquaza. Come on, man. Yeah, dude, you're in big trouble, honestly. Ooh! Ooh! Okay. 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 Nothing like insane, but we got three pretty solid megas here. Mega Titar. Nothing insane. You did not see this Tyranitar? What are you talking about? This thing's crazy. I know. All I see is this getting like hit by a fighting move and just dying in one shot, though. That's all I see. That's that's a great theory. That's a great theory. But I mega like that. Slow, bro. And Mega Pidgeot. Dude, Mega Slowbro's a Mega I've never really got to use. I think you should try him. Yeah. Definitely you should try him over the Tyranitar. I probably should, but I just realized I also do have a Psychic type with Mewtwo. So you know what? Mega Titar it is. I'm going to be boring this round. Dang it. That's what I didn't want you to pick. Okay, round number four for me. I'm not going to lie. I have three really, really strong Pokemon already. So <laughs> I think you're in a little bit of trouble, bro. Dude, I, I really hope not. But let's see what you get this time. Okay, come on. Woo! I see the head of a Steel. I would not oh. mind a little bit of a Steelix. I see another head, and that looks like a Sharpedo. Oh. And last but not least, oh, a Charizard oh. Y. Dude, hey, I was wondering who was going to get Charizard Y. That's sick. This is actually a really tough decision because oh. I already have a Blaziken, so I don't think I need another fire type, but Charizard is Ooh. so cool. Dude, Mega Steelix looks so cool. Like, I know it's not that great, but it does look really cool. Oh my gosh. His animation is sick too. He's got like these little floaty rocks yeah, going around in circles. Dude, that's tough. And then Sharpedo has speed boost. Steelix, I choose you. All right, nice. <laughs> Moving on to the second to last set of rounds in Bro. Just so you know, I'm going all out. I'm going all out. I'm picking the best Mega I can possibly get. What is that? What is that? 
I know what that is. Oh, I know what that is to you. That is a mega Metagross, but what else? We, oh my, okay. A mega Audino <laughs> and, oh, yo! Ooh, you got an Absol too! Isn't that like your favorite Pokemon? Yeah, Absol is my favorite Pokemon, and I would say this is my favorite Mega as well. Okay, well, you literally just said that you're gonna pick the strongest Pokemon, but now you have a decision. The strongest Pokemon or your favorite Pokemon or Audino? I know I just said I want the strongest Pokemon, but... That's a Mega Absol. I already have a Steel type. No. I'm doing it. No I'm doing way. it. You just passed I'm doing it. Mega I, I know. I'm insane. I'm literally crazy. No, you're actually crazy for that. Oh my goodness. All right, let's see what I get for my fifth <laughs> Mega of the please, day. Please, not a Mega Metagross. I just saw the first one, and I'm really excited about it. Honestly, I hope that the next two are kind of trash, so it's an easy decision. Let's see what the next two are. Oh, a Kangaskhan and an Alakazam. Okay, this this is not. A an easy decision. Um, dude, I love how you can't even see the little Kangaskhan. I he's, know. Hello, buddy. He's getting he's getting hammer armed right now. <laughs> yeah, he is, dude. That hurts. I, I know Kangaskhan has a really cool ability when he's mega, but I kind of forget how it works or what it, it is. You basically attack twice. Yeah, that sounds really cool. <laughs> yeah, that sounds really broken, right? Oh, uh, but Swampert is also so cool, and so is Alakazam. I don't know, man. It's a tough choice. I think I'm gonna go with the giant oversized frog man with huge arms passing up on the uber's mega kangaskhan okay I, yeah that thing is crazy i know but swampert i just love swampert so much i gotta go with him i mean i passed a mega metagross i can't really talk moving on to the final set of rounds one more shot for a godlike mega pokemon let's see what we can do and that's pretty godlike to me. Mega Ooh. Gyarados, Mega Gardevoir, and Mega Diancie. Another legendary Mega, dude. Oh, all right, mythical. All three of those are so strong. I actually don't know who I would choose if I were you. This is a really tough choice. Two great fairy type Pokemon, and then we have Mega Gyarados, who's just strong. The most offensive potential is probably Diancie. The most defensive is probably Gyarados. Gardevoir. I don't know, dude. I'm, I, the heart wants what the heart wants. I'm going with Mega Diancie. I was kind of hoping you didn't pick that one. Yeah, yeah, I know you were. I know you were. Okay, and this is the final round. Let's see what the last Mega I am going to get to cap off my team. Ooh, a Mega Venusaur. Oh, a no. Mega Lucario. And a Mega Mewtwo. Why? No, that's three Megas I just did not want you to get. Oh, can I catch all three, please? Please, please, please. I'm begging you, I'm begging you. Just for you, man. No, you gotta catch one. <sighs> okay, I already have a lot of y'all, so that makes me not really want to get the Mewtwo because I have a psychic type Pokemon already. Fair enough, fair enough. Well, I see, I was actually going to maybe pick that thing, actually, is what I was thinking about doing. Were you, though? Were you? I was also thinking about the Lucario, but it's a Mega Mewtwo. How can I pass it up? Oh my gosh, what do I do? I don't know, bro. You gotta decide. It's gotta be the Mega Mewtwo. I, I have to pick it, dude. I can't pass it up. It's I can't. It's impossible. All right, well, time for the battle. But it's time for the Mega Pokemon battle. Mega Blaziken versus Mega Diancie. This is maybe not the best matchup for me. <laughs> I have seen kind of better. This a bad matchup for me, too. I need this Diancie for Rayquaza. Did I just miss? I think I just, you did just miss. I this just missed really, Diamond Storm. I think you're in big, big trouble here. Oh, that <gasps> didn't kill? <gasps> okay. Oh, I really thought my double kick would kill. That's really bad news for me. <laughs> Mega Diancie unfortunately goes down, but that's okay. I have quick, ah, you have quick attack. <laughs> I have quick attack. I did <laughs> Oh, my gosh. Am I about to get swept by a Mega Blaziken? Oh, I cannot you let still this happen. Bullet punch. Oh, I no. cannot let this happen. You passed up with the Metagross. You don't have bullet punch. Okay, this, I don't think I kill this. I'm just going to full send. <gasps> Okay, okay, but you died too, so I'm okay. Oh! You died too. Oh my gosh, no way, we just destroyed that. It okay. was a blessing and just, oh, let's go, oh. I picked the right Pokemon. That is not a good matchup for Why didn't me? you take damage from Stealth Rocks? I put up all the all those Stealth Rocks for nothing. Let's go! Okay. My Mega Rayquaza Wild. just got smoked One by a shot's little Mega Rayquaza, thing. And it's Mega Mewtwo X versus Mega Mewtwo Y. Oh mm. no. Oh! That did a lot. Mewtwo Y goes down, and he still has the Mega Latias in the back. I think it is over. Let's go! My oh. last Pokemon! GG. I came down to the Jeez, wire. Geez, that was such a good battle. Today, it's Primal Groudon versus Primal Kyogre in Minecraft Pixelmon. My friend and I are the new leaders of Team Magma and Team Aqua. And we have a full Minecraft day to catch as many legendaries before we battle. Which team will win? Watch until the end to find out. And the timer starts now. Good luck, good Maxi. Luck. 
work. Well, let's go do this. We gotta find ourselves a Primal Kai Yogurt because I cannot wait to use Primal Kai Yogurt today. That is gonna be so insane and perfect. There's a bunch of water here. There's gotta be a Kai Yogurt somewhere. And guys, make sure you let me know in the comments if you like Primal Kai Yogurt or Groudon more. And while you're down there, you might as well subscribe if you haven't already. Oh my gosh, I see a Kai Yogurt swimming. Look at him. Oh, he is going fast. He's just doing laps around the lake. We gotta go catch it right now. Kyogre, I am coming. He's docked, all right? He has docked the boat. He is on land. Kyogre, get in the master ball, please. And just like that, we have our very own Kyogre. Let's give it the blue orb because now we have a primal Kyogre. Look how sick this is, dude. But here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We are looking for a Groudon, okay? And we are in the Extreme Hills biome right now, which is actually perfect, I think, because Groudon makes the mountains, right? So we should be able to find one relatively quickly. And after that, we just go after all the craziest legendaries we see. Oh, there's some lava there as well. Okay, okay. Come on, Groudon. Well, yeah, I got the red orb ready for you as well. Oh my god, and that's a sweet kid. I can't catch it though. I need to get myself a Groudon. Come on. Oh! Oh my god, yes, Groudon is right in front of us, surrounded by water for some reason. Oh, good god, get in this master ball right now. And we can now begin capturing the other legendary Pokemon. Sweekin, where you at, buddy? Let's take a look at the sun, because we still have a full day to catch other legendary Pokemon, so we gotta do this fast. And obviously, the only legendary we're not gonna catch is a Groudon, because, like, we're Team Aqua, bro. We don't mess with that. And I am so glad I came over here, because look, an eternity bro. We are catching that. Ooh, and a Celesteela. Ultra Beast do count today as legendary Pokemon, which is awesome because Celesteela is such a good Pokemon. There's gotta be some more legendaries here. I just saw an Entei spawn. Let's go. There we go. That's amazing for the team. And look at this legendary. A B-Barrel. Oh my god, he is spinning out. He's on X Games mode. Oh, I almost walked past this Magearna too. Perfect. No! The Suicune is gone! Oh my god. Why? Okay, fine. I see how it is, game. Come on. I don't have that much much time. Where are the legendaries? I'm not seeing anything right now. Oh, that's a Zamazenta right there. Thank you very much. Oh, and a Dialga as well. Let's go. Oh, and there is the Suicune hiding behind the tree. I found you, buddy. You are not gonna escape me this time. Okay, I can't lie to you. Our team is looking really, really good already. What well, would be kind of nice though if we could find like a Mewtwo or a Quasar or something like that, you know? Or a Ice Horse dude. Okay, I mean, I'll go catch it. It's a pretty good legendary Pokemon. Can I snipe it from here? Boom. Oh my god, I actually got it. Let's go. Oh, we get a little Pokeball Pokemon and a Xerneas as well. Oh my god. Okay. And the sun is setting already. Oh no, this is really, really bad. We do not have much time left. We need to hurry up. Come on, legendaries. And I can't think of a better place to look than the desert. The desert never lets me down. Right away, we find a Mewtwo. Like I said, this is just perfect. Oh, and a Buzz. Also a Tapu Boo. Lulu just spot. See, this is what I mean, guys. The desert, it just never lets me down. It loves us. That's kind of weird since we're, you know, Team Aqua. And a Terrakion right here. Beautiful. That is such a good legendary. And, you know, speaking of rock-type Pokemon, I feel like this is the perfect spot for a Regirock. And I'm pretty sure, yep, there's a Regice up here, too. Can you see that? Yep. I'm pretty sure in Pokemon Emerald, though, you do find Regirock in the desert. And let me catch a Regice as well, because, I mean, they can't have too many Regis. Just like that Curum right there. Let's go. Anaco Battle in as well. Let's go. If he could catch a Rayquaza, that'd be so nice. Because everyone knows Groudon and Rayquaza are the cooler Pokemon compared to Kyogre, right? Can we get anything cool? Co oh, a Guzzlord. Okay, now we're talking a little Ultra Beast action. Basically, it's basically a legendary Pokemon, right? Ooh, a Feromosa, dude. This is one of the best Ultra Beast Pokemon. That is going to be a great addition to the squad. I am so happy about... Guys, I think you know what we need to do. We need to get Kyogre some practice here. Okay, it hit and then, okay, a Kyogre. <laughs> Kyogre actually fainted to the wild Groudon. Dude, I am doing a disservice to Team Aqua. I am so sorry. And a Necrozma right here. Oh my gosh, like I said, the desert just has all the good Pokemon. And right away another one. I turn around, there's just more legendaries. We get a Tornadus, which fun fact is the only pure flying Pokemon next to like Rookidee, I think. Oh! That is a Solgaleo right there. Okay. 
Okay. Oh my god. This is a Necrozma. Thank you very much. I will take a Necrozma any day. It's a very, very powerful legendary Pokemon. Here we go, though. I think this environment's a little more Kyogre speed. And guys, look at the moon. The moon is officially setting, which means we don't have much time left. And oh my god. This is like the worst legendary Pokemon. A Regigigas. And I'm still gonna catch it just because, like, it's a legendary. But let's just say it's probably not gonna get used. Come on, yo. There's gotta be some more legendaries in this ice biome. Come on. I just really hope whatever legendaries Jay's catching, we can just counter immediately. And there we go. Let me catch a Moltres, too. Why not? And I feel like we're doing pretty decent. We've got a bunch of strong legendaries. However, we can still get more. I want to find an Arceus, and we are running out of time. So come on, let's do it right now. And I am not seeing many legendaries. I think it's time for an RTP. All They got frozen or something. Oh, that's a Katana. Oh my god, yes. Katana is like one of the fastest Pokemon in the game, I'm pretty sure. So that is definitely going to be useful. What does Kyogre dislike? I feel like Kyogre dislikes grass and the ground. So we capture a grass legendary Pokemon. Guys, I think the sun is about to come up. So we are running out of time. Another Tapu Bulu. We already have one. We don't have to waste time. Oh, a Raikou. Can we get there, though, before the sun rises? I think we can. Raikou, get in the ball. We're safe. You can still see the moon. So it's okay. Everything's fair game. And Mr. J, we got like 10 more seconds before that moon sets. Time is running out. Oh, I see one. Yes, I did. Actually, I already have one of these. But you know what? I'll take it. Terrakion, get in the ball. And I can still just barely see the moon. Five. Four. Oh, I found a shiny legendary Apus. Three. Two. Oh my god. One. Shiny Bectrier. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. This Pokemon is insane. And I hope you caught it because take your hands off your keyboard. Okay, okay. Hands in the air. I just caught it. Hands in the air like you don't care. It is time for the battle. And it's time for the ultimate showdown. Here we go. Here we go. Team Magma versus Team Aqua. Zashi or Zamazenta versus Feramosa. Okay. No, I'm doing this. Oh, I'm swapping what? out, baby. I'm going to Celesteel. Oh, that did so much damage. Let's go, that Zamazenta. Let me do the same move again. Oh, Let's no, go. No, no. Take down the first Pokemon. <laughs> that is so bad. Okay, but here we go. I got the Mewtwo. You I got caught Mewtwo. Strike. I was looking Lined for one up, for bro. so long. Let's go. Zamazenta goes down. Oh, it's time. But up. Maxi it's, it's time. brings in the Dialga. Uh -huh. Okay. You live. Let's go for another Aura Spear. There we go. <laughs> oh, God, there uh, Mewtwo go. does go down, though. Dang it. Okay. Let's go. Feramosa versus the Solgaleo. Yes. Come on, Solgaleo. Feramosa Sogaleo. goes down. I think I go out to my boy ah! here. Eternatus. Yep. There we go. The flamethrower that. hits. Solgaleo goes down, baby. I live on six. No. Oh, let's go. Bring out the Raikou. Let's go. Raikou versus Xerneas. We have to take this out. I'm going for this move, dude. I don't know what to do. You oh, paralyzed me. I live on four health. Prismatic laser kills. Let's go. Oh, and it's no. time for my last Pokemon, oh, dude. No. I am on to my last one. The primal Kyogre. Come on. I Groudon. It is a time oh, for the final and it showdown. Is primal Groudon versus Primal oh, Kyogre, gosh. dude. Okay, here we um, go. Ice Beam again no! takes down the Groudon, and Team Aqua is the winner. Today, we're upgrading Pokemon to Gigantamax Pokemon in Minecraft Pixelmon. Each round, we'll have five minutes to go catch Pokemon that can Gigantamax before we 1v1 battle. First person to win four Gigantamax battles is the winner. All right, Rich, three, two, one. Good luck, sir. Good luck. We are looking for some powerful-looking Gigantamax Pokemon. And yo, there's a Zamazen and a Moltres here. Why, why can't those just Gigantamax? Butterfree, can you Gigantamax? I think you can. So, getting this Master Ball. Let's go. Okay, we found one at least. Oh, wait, there's one right there. Copperage. I'm like 90% sure this is a G-Max, and it's a really cool one, too. Like, I'm pretty sure that's the ace Pokemon of Chairman Rose. Yo, Charizard. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm pretty certain you are much better than a Butterfree, but do I really want to use you? I mean, I despise your existence, man. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to use a Gigantamax Charizard. What is this? I'm just glad we at least have one G-Max Pokemon now. That makes me feel a lot better. Oh, and there's a second one right there. Colossal, what is up, buddy? Not bad at all. So now we got some variety, too. We got a few options. Oh, wait. Hatterene, that is a 100% a G-Max Pokemon. I might have to bring Hatterene. That's sweet. Oh, and there is the time. The first Gigantamax battle, Hatterene versus Charizard. I have to use Charizard, dude. I hate this. I despise this Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, dude, I know Charizard's your favorite Pokemon. Yo, dude, these guys are huge. They're massive, man. <laughs> I mean, they do look kind of cool, I guess. I'll give him about that. I mean, bro, come on. Boom! G-Max Charizard is one of the coolest Pokemon. Max Wormwind. Oh, no. I misclicked. 
No! <laughs> yeah, you Dude. misclicked, bro. Let's go. So I get the first point. I knew bringing in Charizard was a mistake. So we're starting off strong this time with a win. That is awesome. But we cannot take our foot off the brakes. We got to keep winning these rounds. There is a Lapras over there, which can most definitely Gigantamax. Hello, sir. Getting this Master Ball right now. And we are already off to a much better start than before. So we have to win round two. There's no way we lose with that Gigantamax Lapras. Ooh, that's a Kingler, though. Hold up. Gigantamax Kingler is a thing. And that dude is looking goofy. Get in this master ball. Yes! Yes, that is such a good G-Max. Gengar, get in my master ball. Oh my gosh. That is so good. If that's the only G-Max I find this round... Oh, wait. There's a Dreadnought. Let's go. So we got at least two G-Max Pokemon we can choose from. I mean, I, I think I know what I'm picking, though. No spice. Mewtwo. Oh my god. Ladies and gentlemen, imagine if Mewtwo could Gigantamax. That would be so sick. He would probably be the most broken Pokemon in the game, apart from Eternatus. <gasps> wait! Eternatus can Gigantamax. Gigantamax game. Yo, you know you love me. Come on, give me the Gigantamax Eternatus right now. And we have another Colossal, which I guess I'll catch. There's no harm in catching it. And I'll be honest, guys, I really want to find a Pikachu or an Eevee. I just think it'd be so funny to bring those Pokemon to the battle and beat Rich. That'd be hilarious. Oh, wait. Wait, isn't Corviknight G-Max? Yeah, there is 100% G-Max Corviknight. Get in my ball. Let's go. We got a decent amount now. Oh, and that's an Eevee right there. Hold up. Eevee can Gigantamax. I'm pretty sure Eevee's actually a somewhat decent Gigantamax Pokemon as well. You're treating me nicely this time after the horrible Charizard treatment. <gasps> and that's a Sanaconda, another Pokemon that can Gigantamax. Yo! And I'm pretty sure we're about to run out of time, but we have captured five G-Max Pokemon, so it should be all good. And perfect timing, too, because the round is over. It's time for the second G-Max battle, Inteleon versus Gengar. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Spicy matchup. All right, wait, do you have a dark move? I really hope you don't. Oh, who knows, Office? Who knows? Let me just... Boom! <laughs> Dude, these G-Max Pokemon look so sick. Oh, ah! you want that me? Well, and I just one-shot you ha! with a critical hit. Oh, uh, my God, I was admiring God, how man. big our Pokemon were. They just disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> the score is two to zero. And there's a Kingler here right off spot. That is a sick G-Max. No way. Bro, that Pokemon has the best facial hair I've ever seen. We need to bring that to the battle. I'm deciding if I even want to bring other Pokemon. Like, I just want to bring Gigantamax Kingler. Maybe using starter Pokemon is not the play for me, okay? Because clearly something is up. I use a Charizard, I lose. I use a Inteleon, I lose. <gasps> Yo, wait. Okay, guys guys. We might not be able to bring Kingler Gigantamax Venusaur. Dude, I don't know. Do I want the memes or the actual good Pokemon? Oh, wait, that's a Venusaur. Oh, but you're a starter Pokemon though. Am I really gonna curse myself again? Now, he is grass type though. I've used a fire type Pokemon and a water type Pokemon for my battles. Maybe I use Venusaur for the final battle. Gigantamax Venusaur looks kind of cool as well. Oh, wait, that's another two. Alcremie. Yeah, yeah, Alcremie definitely has a G-Max. Let's go. Groudon. Imagine if you could Gigantamax. Dude, there's so many options for Gigantamax Pokemon. <gasps> Machamp. That's a Gigantamax. Let's go. We are actually catching so many G-Max Pokemon this round. Wait, yo. Toxtricity. That is definitely a G-Max Pokemon too. That is a sick one. I don't know what to do. I want to bring Kingler, but Toxtricity is so cool. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's an Urshfu. Oh my god. My favorite Gigantamax Pokemon in the game. Oh yes. Let's Let's go! We take those! Timer's up. It is time to battle again. On to round three. We got Urshifu versus G-Max Kingler. You have a Kingler. Why would you bring a Kingler? <laughs> this is my boy. You ready? You want to know the real okay. reason? Okay. Because look oh, at that. Look my. at that facial hair. <laughs> look at that facial hair, bro. Look at that, dude. I love him. <laughs> but dude, G-Max Urshifu is sick. And you're about to just destroy me, I think. Mm -hmm. Go for Max maybe, Geyser maybe, again. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Foam burst. Ooh. You oh live! My gosh. Oh my god, no way, no way. Not three times in the row, please. Urshifu, I should for a big! Oh, I live! No, yes! I didn't kill! Oh my Let's go! Oh, okay, so Woo! the score is two to one now. So unfortunately, we weren't able to win that round, but that's okay, because look at this. We found a beautiful ice biome. Oh wait, Orbital! 
There is one right there. Hello, good sir. Get in my ball. Come on, man. I can smell the Gigantamax po- I can smell him. Oh, I knew it. I knew I smelled something over here. We got a Blastoise. Let's go. I feel like Blastoise is a tiny bit better than Orbital. We should probably bring that to the battle. Imagine if Duckler could like Mega Evolve or Gigantamax or anything, man. This thing would destroy the world. Look at him. Wait, there's a Duraludon right there and a Lapras right in front of me. What? First of all, Lapras. Get in the ball. I don't know why. Okay, thank you. But yo, let's catch this Duraludon too. G-Max Duraludon is hilarious, bro. He's a skyscraper. Bro, I am just popping off. And there's another Toxtricity right here. What is going on? Oh, that's a Senti Scorch right there. I love Senti Scorch's Gigantamax form. Let's go. We take it. Oh, no. It's a Reishifu, bro. Why couldn't you just be an Urshifu? That would be such a good Pokemon. A Mega Venusaur. Okay, you know what? It might be time. It might be Gigantamax Venusaur time. But honestly, we did amazing this round, so I'm not even mad, and it's time to battle. Time for the round four battle. Venusaur versus Blastoise. Oh, yes! Perfect! This is so bad for me. I, I can't even tell you. Nah, um, this is the best, man. What do you mean? Oh, oh my dude. god, look at them. <laughs> dude, Venusaur sweet. is so angry. Why is he so angry? He is. I don't know. Venusaur, take him down. Uh, yes! No! All right, so it's all tied at two to two. This is a huge round here, and we cannot afford to lose it. Hello, sir. How we doing? That's an angry monkey right here. I love him. Look at this, dude. He looks sick. Ooh, a Blastoise. Wait. Arpus just used the Blastoise and he lost with it. What if I use one and win with it? I'll catch you just in case, just to have an option for the battle. But I do want to find some other ones. And come on, man. We got to find a G-Max in this desert somewhere, right? Oh, let's go. Let's go. Okay, I was getting worried because we hadn't found one yet, but Machamp is right there. That is sweet. I am so happy off of that. I was getting really worried. <gasps> oh, that's a Senti Scorch again. Hold up. Maybe this time I will use you, okay? I feel like I will. I love Senti Scorch. But game, come on. This round is looking kind of no bueno for me. In the previous rounds, I captured five, even six Gigantamax Pokemon, okay? Now I'm catching Belly too. What is going on? <gasps> Oh my gosh, no way. No way. It's a Pikachu. I never thought I'd be this excited, but guys, Gigantamax Pikachu is possible. And I said earlier in this video, I wanted to use G-Max Pikachu or Eevee. So we'll see how this goes. Oh, and there's a Venusaur. I don't think I'll be bringing Venusaur since Rich just did. That's kind of a little boring, but we might as well catch it. And there's the timer. But now we have a tiebreaker battle. It's two to two. And we got Pikachu versus Senescorch. Okay. But you already know oh! it's time to get big. We got the Chunkachu. <laughs> I literally surround you with my Pokemon. Look at <laughs> yeah, this. Dude. Oh my gosh. He's so big. Senescorch is huge. And well... my Pikachu is about to die. No. <laughs> <laughs> what can Pikachu. I say, man? What can I say? He's not Boom. chunky enough. No, Pikachu. <laughs> oh, Let's go. Gosh. All right, so it's three to two in favor of Rich. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. We have won three in a row. All we need to do now is win one more round, and we have won. And I can keep on teasing Arpus because he sucks with Gigantamax Pokemon. So Rich only needs one more point to win this. I cannot lose this round. Messing around and bringing Pikachu probably wasn't the best play, but it's fine. Ah, uh, see, yes. I'm low-key surprised that you can't Gigantamax. Max, I can't lie to you. Chestnut, Crawdon, no, 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 no. What is this game? Give me the good Pokemon, you know what I'm saying? Oh, and it's fine because there's a Grimmsnarl right here. Yes. Oh, I was actually really hoping to get Gigantamax Grimmsnarl. Okay, how come Dragapult can't Gigantamax? It actually makes zero sense. Dragapult is like one of the main Pokemon from Sword and Shield. Oh, wait, Inteleon is right up there too. But where is that Inteleon? Where are you, sir? I'm coming for you. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Okay, he fell off the tree. But dude, I have not seen a single Pokemon that can Gigantamax so far. What is going on? Am I just gonna lose the round automatically? No, 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 no. That can't be game. Please don't scam me like this. Wait, Flapple, you can Gigantamax. Oh my, there's no shot I'm gonna have to bring a Apple to a battle. Oh my god, man. Dude, I'm not seeing any more Gigantamax Pokemon. We might just have to make it work with Inteleon and Grimmsnarl. Oh, but yo, the smallest Cinderace I've ever seen. We can get G-Max Cinderace. We kind of trolled bringing Pikachu, so I don't know if I'll bring Eevee, but still, that is so sick to find one, and there's the timer. On to the next battle, and I desperately oh, no. need to win this. It is Flapple oh, versus no. Grimmsnarl. 
I have Dude, no other go. choice. I only found the apple, man. Oh, <laughs> just the apple. But yo, Look that is a it. big apple. That is a big, it's New York City. That is the it's big a, apple. It's a big boy. Oh my no, gosh. No, you won't I touch just... me. <laughs> wow. Okay. I see how it is. <laughs> Let's go, dude. I needed that. It is all tied up. Oh my god. Why did I bring the apple? I literally had no other choice. I had to show up to the fight, you know. We are now three to three. We are going to the final round, so I need to make sure I capture something insane. But so far, I'm not seeing any. Like, we got Cobalion. Dude, where are the Pokemon? Oh, that's a Melmetal. Oh my god. Arpus stands no chance. Melmetal is like a legendary Pokemon, okay? I 100% win. Oh, Oh, no, I just realized. Imagine if Arpus gets an Eternatus. Oh, no, 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 no. I pray to the gods above. Do not give Arpus Eternatus. If he gets that, I might just lose. No way! Eternatus! That's like the best Gigantamax Pokemon right there. There is no way we just found that. Oh my gosh. I feel like it doesn't even matter what Pokemon we have anymore. Well, it's time to stop anyways, because it's time for us to battle. So now it is time for the final battle. <laughs> oh my god. We have Eternamax <laughs> Eternatus versus Melmetal. And actually, I gotta move right here. I'm just clicking this. Let's go. Woo! Oh, this is bad. This is bad. The critical hit flamethrower. Let's go, baby. Oh, no. Today, it's shiny legendary Pokemon versus shiny mythical Pokemon in Pixelmon. Each round, this wheel will decide what legendary or mythical Pokemon we need to shiny hunt. And after six rounds, we'll meet at the battle arena for the ultimate shiny Pokemon battle. Kicking it off with the first wheel spin on legendary Pokemon, Cyrude is mythical, and right away, Zacian, that's amazing. No! But let's see, can you compete with the Zacian? Come on, give me Arceus. Ooh, Deoxys. I will take that. Let's go. Time to shiny hunt. Good luck, sir. Let's do this. Good luck. And let's go. We got to track down a shiny Zacian. We can do that easy. But in the comments, guys, don't forget to tell me your favorite shiny mythical and your favorite shiny legendary. Oh, here's a beautiful one right here. Shiny Rayquaza. Shiny Kiram right here too. Dude, I think Rayquaza might be my favorite. But we really got to win this round. So of course, guys, if you want me to win, don't forget to subscribe as well. Because subscribing is completely free and it really does help out a ton. And there's a shiny Giratina. Ooh. Okay, shiny Deoxys. Now that is a Pokemon I'm down to catch. I don't really remember how to change its forms. I think you need a meteorite. Is that what it is? And then you can like right click it to change its form and stuff. Ooh, there's a shiny Lucario over here. That's pretty cool. But if you guys didn't know, Deoxys has like a bunch of different forms. It has like a speed form, a normal form, a defensive form, and a couple of other forms that I'm honestly not too entirely familiar with. But I do know that there's one form in particular that is like his attacking form and he hits incredibly hard but i think for the final battle i'm probably going to put him in his attacking form to make sure that he's able to deal a ton of damage now unfortunately fusion pokemon are not on this wheel i don't think so this mewtwo knight is not going to be captured today or that sacred mence and they're both shiny as well oh but there we go there's the shiny deoxys let's go get in my pokeball boy oh shit Shiny Kabutops, baby. Let's go. Oh, yes. And there's our shiny Zacian, followed by a shiny Tapu Fini. Oh, my gosh. But let's go. It is time for the next round. Moving on to the next round now. Come on. Can I get anything better than a Zacian? <laughs> Dude, I found a shiny Rayquaza last round. Let's go. Oh, this is bad. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Ooh, I'll take a Bell Metal. I will take a Bell Metal. Let's go. So we start off strong with Zacian, and now we get shiny. Rayquaza. Oh my god. No. I just saw another Rayquaza spawn. Dude, of course it had to just be a normal Rayquaza. I am, I'm so sad. Buddy, show me where your shiny friend is. Where is he? Yo, look at the shiny two cannon. The beak. Oh, I want some Fruit Loops right now after seeing that, bro. Come on. Let's go, Mel Metal, baby. I mean, I am really bummed that he got a Rayquaza. That's debatably the strongest Pokemon of all time. There, I don't know if there's ever been a Pokemon created that is stronger than that. Maybe you could say like, Arceus or Zacian. But here he has his Zacian too! And we are in a very white, snowy biome. I feel like that does make sense for a Melmetal to belong in here. So well, let's hang out here for a little bit and see if we can find one. Oh no, dude! 
Are you actually out of your mind? This is the second round in a row where I, I found my Pokemon's fusion. This is a Marshadow, a Melmetal fused with the Marshadow. By the way, if you guys do want to play with fusion Pokemon, be sure to go ahead and join the Smash MC server. Oh my god, a shiny Ultra... Oh, um, shiny Cresselia, shiny Reshiram, but where's my shiny Rayquaza? But we really need to watch out for Cyrude's Melmetal once he catches that. Because Melmetal is one of the few mythical Pokemon that just shuts down my Rayquaza. We can't do anything to it. No, dude, are you serious? It's a Melmetal, but it's not shiny. We can only catch the shiny variants. That is so frustrating, actually. I mean, we do have a 50-50 shot, so the odds aren't the worst ever, but I'm hoping that we can find one pretty soon because we found its fusion, we find its regular form, and I'm starting to get a little bit annoyed. Oh, it's a Melmetal? Is it? I think it's shiny. I, yes, it is shiny. Let's go. Get it, my Pokemon boy. Heck yeah, that's two Pokemon down. Four rounds to go. Okay, dude. Shiny Kyogre, bro. Can I just not find Rayquaza shiny? What's going on? <gasps> Oh, I just watched that spawn in. Yes, dude. Shiny Rayquaza. Oh, right next to the shiny Eveltel as well. There we go. Get in my Master Ball, buddy. That actually, that took a while. Moving on now to the next round. Hopefully, this one's a little easier. I was right next to a shiny Eveltel. I was right next to one. Dude, I really hope it's still there. Your team is so stacked. This is this is horrible. And I got a Mew. I'll take a Mew. That, all right, cool. Dude, that shiny Rayquaza was right next to a shiny Eveltel, and I don't think we can go back there. I did slash back, but I had already RTP'd somewhere else, so we're just cooked. Oh, but a shiny Eternatus, dude. Imagine. Oh, we got shiny Cobalion right next to the shiny Terrakion. Come on, where's Verizian? Where's Verizian? Let me complete the trio. That would actually be so insane. Like, how rare is it to find all of those shinies? Surely, like, his big, strong, legendary Pokemon that he has wouldn't, wouldn't attack a Mew, right? Like, why would they ever attack a cute little Mew? That would just be very mean. Very, very mean. Mew also has a few Fusion with Victini. It seems like every single Pokemon that I'm getting has the ability to fuse with another Pokemon. So far, at least, that is certainly the case. Oh, and there we go, baby. A blue Mew. That is exactly what I'm looking for. Let's go. I'm actually really happy we got a Veltel, though. It's one of those legendaries I don't get to use too often, but when I do use it, it always puts in work. Like, it's such a strong Pokemon. Oh, my. And here's a shiny Xerneas, the one we don't need. Come on, man. That's kind of like a shiny Veltel, you know, with their, like, extended cousins or something. But there is the one we need. Shiny Veltel. Give me that, baby. Next to the shiny Wailord. Hold on. I'm almost going to catch this Wailord, I think. Get out of the way, bro. Let's go. We got the Eveltel. Waylord, you can stay over here, bro. On to the next round now. We are about halfway through. Got half of our team in Shiny Eternatus. I can manage with that. Bro, your team is way too good. There's so... Yeah, there's so a lot of good Pokemon on my board. Marshadow. Woo! Dude, of course, last round we found a shiny Eternatus too. Was it last round? One of the rounds we did. But guys, something I just realized is we have Rayquaza and Eveltel, which means we could make this Pokemon fusion Rayveltel. Oh my God, why is he spinning around so much? He's a bit excited right now, but we could make this and we could make the shiny version too, which would be crazy. But that does mean we would be going into the battle with only five Pokemon. So there is a downside, but obviously Cyrid can use fusions too. And I think he has Marshadow and Melmetal, which is a fusion. So if you guys want to see the fusions in action, don't forget to watch into the end. And there's our shiny Eternatus. Oh my God. Get in my master ball, sir. Yes. Guys, this is news. I just got Marshadow, and I did mention earlier that Melmetal fuses with Marshadow to make Melmetal. I kind of want to do it. I'm not going to lie. I kind of want to do it. I feel like since I have the opportunity, I should capitalize on it and make it happen. It's what I want to see. I think it's what the people want to see, and I'm a man of the people. Oh! <gasps> no, dude! Marshadow, man. Why can't you be shiny? Come on. Oh, yeah, baby. And there we go. There's the shiny Marshadow we were looking for. Let's go. Come on, baby. I need some gas. I mean, can my team get much better? A Groudon? No. Well, let's see what you get for the mythical Pokemon. There's still a bunch of good ones left. Ooh, a Jirachi. Jirachi's really good. Dude, let's go. We get to track down a shiny Groudon now. Come on, where is it? And it might seem like my team is much better than Cyrude's, but trust me, that is not the case, especially because fusions are on the table. There are a bunch of mythical Pokemon fusions, and if Cyrude gets some good ones, then we could be done for. 
Honestly, Jirachi is a sick Pokemon. I don't know if a lot of people know that. Or maybe, I guess, probably a lot of people do know that. It is a really strong Pokemon with great typing with Steel and Psychic. It's the same typing as a Metagross, for example. The problem with it, though, is that it's also a Psychic Pokemon! And this is gonna be my third Psychic Pokemon, dude! No! And he has an Eveltal, which is Dark type, which specifically counters Psychic. I don't know if there's any more Psychic Mythicals out there, but if there is, and I get it, I'm gonna be fuming. I think Wait, Victini. No, dude, if I get Victini as my last Pokemon, I'm going to freak out. I really should not have fused my Marshadow and Melmetal because right now I only have one Pokemon that's not psychic, dude. And it could have been two. It could have been two. I'm going to need an Arceus for my last Pokemon, I think. I literally, I think I'm going to have to use it. I don't know what else could uh, could reconcile my team at this point. You know what, actually? There is Zerora. Zerora is a Electro-type Pokemon, which would, I believe, just sort of destroy an Eveltal. So, I think I'm gonna need a Zerora. And it's one of my favorite legendaries. So, but yeah, Zerora is sick. It's certainly one of my favorite legendaries. I know it's whatever, technically a mythical, but I kind of just group them all up into one. If that triggers you, then I don't know, bro. I don't know, dude. It, it shouldn't grow up a little bit, probably. But if I was a shiny Groudon, I'd definitely be hiding here in the desert. So come on. Already, there's a shiny Regilecki. That's pretty sweet. Ooh, and a shiny Naganadel. Hello. Oh, I hear it. Oh, yeah. I literally heard it go. Jirachi. There it is, though. Let's go. And it's shiny. Perfect, baby. Get in my Pokeball. Let's go. And we're going to need a really big wheel spin here for my left. Uh, spin. Let's see how this goes. Dude, let's go. There's our shiny. Oh my gosh. And a shiny Kyolecki fusion. Oh my god. But shiny Groudon's in the Master Ball. There we go, baby. On to the final round now. Come on. Close up this team for me and I'll take it. I will take it. Shiny Reshiram. Come on. Final wheel spin for you. Oh, yes. Oh, baby. Yeah. That is something I will take. Let's go, baby. Dude, I can't believe Cyrus got Arceus. That is so bad for us. Oh, is that it? Is that? No, it's not shiny. Are you kidding me, man? All right, whatever. I guess we can't be that lucky, but Cyru got Arceus. Are you kidding? I guess I can't complain. My team is great, but guys, we cannot lose this battle. And I can't believe Reshiram just spawned in front of us like that. Are you kidding? I will gladly take that. I am very upset though that he just got a Reshiram because Dark type destroys my team. And for the Pokemon that maybe could tank a little bit of Dark type in their life, well, well, they get shredded by fire type. My marshmallow gets shredded by fire and so does my Jirachi. I don't know what I'm gonna do. But what we are gonna have is this, a shiny Arceus, baby. Get it, my Pokeball, get on my team. And let's go kick some Arbus booty. And Reshiram's actually a great legendary because it helps us with Cyrus Melmetal. And up until now, we really didn't have a good answer for it aside from like Zacian. And I'm pretty sure Arceus can only fuse with Giratina and Eternatus. I don't know if he can make a mythical fusion. Yes! Oh, it was right there. I almost walked right past this, dude. Oh my god. Good thing I looked to the left, but shiny Reshiram. Let's go, baby. It's time for the battle. And it's time for the ultimate battle. Shiny legendaries versus shiny mythicals. Good luck, sir. No, that's actually fine. I'm not even bothered by that, like, at all. Is this Deoxys? No, this is attack. Oh, no. It is Deoxys attack. He kind of hits a little bit hard. All right. Well, thank oh! God I got this. Shiny Ray Veltel. Look at it in the flesh, bro. <gasps> You just one-shot me? Yo, you got the Marshadow Melmetal Fusion. But no, he had Shadow Sneak. Whenever I look at this uh, Marshmetal, I think it's a fire type. Like, it, it looks like it could be fire. But I gotta remember, you're weak to fire. This guy's greedy. This guy's greedy. I did get a little bit greedy. I don't know if I should have went for that. Sacred Sword's gonna do a lot, though. Oh! No! I should have oh! e-speeded! The Transform you Coming I... in huge! I'm not even mad. GG. <laughs> this wheel is full of custom Pixelmon Lucky Blocks. In each round, the wheel will decide what tier of Lucky Block we open for the next 15 blocks. But we can only choose one Pokemon from each tier for our final team. And at the end, we'll have a battle with our legendary teams for $1,000. Mr. Cyrus, it is time for your first lucky Come block on. spin. And oh, crimson right lucky away. blocks. Not bad at all. Those are sick. Let's go. But for my spin, come on, baby. Give me God lucky blocks. Give me God luck. Ooh. Ooh. 
Ooh. I'll take it, Crystal, round one. All right, sir, good luck. Good luck, let's do this. And just like that, we have 15 Crystal Lucky Blocks. Let's see, immediately a Crystal Raikou. So if you guys don't know, all of these Lucky Blocks will have custom legendary Pokemon. And there are some crazy ones. Like, oh, we just got a Suicune. Come on, be an Entei. It's a Spectrier. But dude, I will never get tired of these Crystal Legendaries. Suicune and Spectrier are getting those Master Balls. All right, 15 Crimson Lucky Blocks, but there is a catch. We can only use one of these Pokemon that we get, and we just got an Eternatus. Are you serious? Let's go. Oh my gosh, that is so good. Now, I will say a lot of these Lucky Blocks only have Legendary Pokemon in them. So, even though Eternatus is sick, I might get an even better Pokemon. But of course, guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you aren't already, because boom, once you subscribe, we get Dark Rise every day. We get Eternatus. So, please subscribe, please. But yo, not bad at all. Let me catch both of these demons. That is so cool, man. But we need to start thinking about the one Pokemon from this batch we're gonna take. Because right now, I'm really liking Darkrai and Eternatus, but yo, Ho-Oh could be really good. Genesect, that is really strong as well. It's not like the most flashy legendary ever, but it is incredibly strong. Let's see what else we can get. A Manaphy. No, 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 no. That's a stinky one. Articuno. All right. I wonder if we're allowed to fuse Pokemon together because if that is the case, we can actually fuse an Eternatus with an Arceus to get like an extremely OP Pokemon. A Darkrai. Yo, that looks so cool. But come on, man. Crystal. Another Crystal Ho-Oh. Okay, show me a Lugia. Urshifu. Okay, that's what's up, man. Crystal Urshifu is amazing. And so far, I'm thinking Crystal Eternatus here will be our pick. These textures are amazing. I love the crimson textures so much. I have no idea what Pokemon I'm going to keep. It's most certainly not going to be Shaman though, unless I make it Shaman Sky. Then maybe you could have an argument that it actually is pretty sick of Kyogre. Yo! Oh my gosh. Crimson Dawn Kyogre. Tell me that is not amazing looking. But let's go. A Crimson Dawn Kyogre. That is so sick. But we still got four lucky blocks left. You never know. There's a Kieran. We could get a Groudon. Crystal Groudon would be crazy. Crystal Rayquaza would be insane. Crystal Cosmog makes me want to cry. We're just gonna pretend like we didn't see that. All right, like what just happened? We got another Crystal Suicune. And the last Crystal Pokemon of this batch is a Crystal Kabu. So we got trolled. With these last seven lucky blocks, let's see. Oh, a Palkia. Yo. The Tapu Coco. Let's go. I'll take that. You know what, actually? I think Tapu Koko would be a lot better than we think. It's extremely fast. It hits pretty hard. But I think most importantly, it is a fairy type Pokemon, which counters Dragon very, very well. And yeah, this might be a bad call, but I'm going to go with Crystal Eternatus. And unfortunately, we just got a duplicate with Darkrai and another Thunderous. So we got a Tornadus earlier. I forget. Um, and another Palkia. On, yeah, a lot of duplicates to finish that off. I think I am going to go ahead and keep... I'm going to keep the Kyogre. So hopefully your Come round on. one was as good as God, mine. God, lucky I mean, block. Oh, dude. Okay. Shadow. Shadow. Legendary. Let's go. That is sick. Dude, how am I going to compete with Legendary Shadow? Ooh. Oh my gosh, Let's dude. Let's go. Corrupted Lucky Blocks. And if you guys want to play Pixelmon 2, the IP is play.smashmc.co. And you can type slash redeem Arpus in the chat and get five free common Lucky Blocks. And this is exciting because we actually have the newest kind of Lucky Block here. Corrupted Deoxys. Dude, I love the white and pink color scheme. It's so perfect. All right. We have Legendary Shadow Pokemon and Arpus got Corrupted Pokemon. I feel like that's just one stage cooler than Shadow, but that doesn't mean that my Pokemon aren't going to be incredibly strong. Like type null. Let's see what else we can get though. Oh, wait a second. Shadow Zekrom is looking pretty spunky, dude. He looks pretty sweet. Let's go ahead and catch him. I would not mind adding a Zekrom to the team. Oh, we got a normal Latias here. Come on, give me a corrupted Latias. Oh, corrupted Entei, bro. Oh, he looks like the king of this mountain. I'm not gonna lie. Let's catch that ASAP. And Entei, although you look really sick, you're unfortunately not going to be remaining on the team because I would most certainly take 
take this Ekrom over you, Urshifu, okay? We get a Verizian. Ooh, a Corrupted Sashian, dude. Oh my God, that is so good. Come here, Verizian. I forgot about you. Who do you guys think is the worst Articuno? And there we go. We got another Tapu Koko. That's so good. I was thinking about keeping it last round. And I know that we have a Zekrom. I think I'd rather have the Coco over the Zekrom. Am I, is that weird? I, I honestly don't know what is better. But we've gotten four banger Pokemon so far. Let's keep this... Dude, Corrupted Rayquaza is ours. Come here. Let me throw this Master Ball at you. Oh, that is so cute. I think we might have to bring that Pokemon. We got a Glass Dryer and a Jirachi. Oh, Xerneas. Yo. Okay. I think Xerneas is going to be in the lead here. I don't know if we're allowed to use held items, though. But if we are allowed items, I'm most certainly going to keep him a Ho-Oh, too. Okay. We're getting some really cool Pokemon. Speaking of... Up here is an Agrizard, which is a Charizard and Agron fusion, and a Suicuno, which is an Articuno Suicune fusion. Both extremely cool Pokemon. We get a Kyogre! So no Groudon this round, but we did get Rayquaza and Kyogre. I guess there's still a chance for Groudon. We get a Corrupted Raikou. And last but not least, for this round, our final Corrupted Pokemon, ooh, is a Corrupted Magearna. But now we are down to just two of these legendary Shadow Lucky Blocks. Come on. Give me an Arceus. Give me an Arceus. Terrakion. Loki to Rakion is like pretty solid. You just get one Source Dance off with them, and then you have Stone Edge, Close Combat, and he kind of shreds. And last but not least, we have Latias. So my three options here are obviously Zacian, Rayquaza, and Kyogre. And to be honest, as much as I want to pick Rayquaza and Zacian, Kyogre is just so hard to beat. So we need to choose that for this round. I'm honestly really torn between keeping the Tapu Koko and the Xerneas, but I think I'd be really silly not to keep the Xerneas. So that is where we're going to go for it for round number two. Two. Moving on to the next wheel spin now. Come on, what you Oh, know. yes! Oh, my God! Let's go! God! That is so Pokemon bad for me. Lucky block. Dude, how do I even compete with that Let's right now? Go, I'm stuck. Dude. Oh, okay. Okay, I'll take that, though. Galaxy. Galaxy is sick. I am so happy about that. Galaxy Lucky Blocks are easily my favorite, and you're about to see why. Just look. Okay, it's like the 15th Raikou we've seen today, but just look how cool. Come on, give me something I haven't seen yet. Ooh, a Galaxy Keldeo. Yes, come on, let's go again. Galaxy Reg Ice. I mean, the Regis aren't that great, but that is a sweet texture. Guys, we literally just got the best lucky block in the entire game. This is a god lucky block, which drops three random texture legendary Pokemon and even has a chance to drop fusion Pokemon. So hopefully at the end of this round, I will be able to keep like the strongest fusion ever. I got my eyes set on Dragon Ninja, but honestly, any fusion would be amazing. Let's see what we can get. Oh, a Kyogre, a Zekrom, a Galaxy Zekrom, actually. That's so cool. And a Hoopa. Okay. A Crystal Hoopa. And even though that was so sick, guys, some of these have even cooler Pokemon in them. I am so excited for this round. Come on. Another Kyogre. How many of these are we going to get? A Landorus and a Galaxy Latias. Galaxy Groudon is like the coolest Pokemon ever. Next to Galaxy Melmetal. We might have to bring that to the battle, but let's keep it up, bro. We've been getting some good Pokemon. There's a Necrozma. Show me the Galaxy Grout. Oh, wait, Galaxy Terrakion. That is sick. And Galaxy Zygarde. Okay, we got to check the ability. If this is the perfect one, then we might have to bring Zygarde to the battle. Oh, yay! Oh, Zacius, another fusion. That is a Zacian Xerneas fusion, bro. Oh, my gosh. And we got a Galaxy Mewtwo. This is like the only round ever that I would get a Mewtwo and not even think about keeping it. I'm like actually starting to sweat. I'm so nervous. I really don't want to lose. Because not only is our dignity on the line, but $1,000 as well. Ooh, Mel Metal. Mel Metal actually has two fusions now. He can fuse with Embor and he can fuse with Marshadow. But let's see. Oh! There is an Agrizard, yo! That is so sick, dude. Oh my gosh. He's definitely incredibly strong. I don't know if he's better than Zacius, though. Oh, the Dragon Ninja! Yeah! That is the one fusion that I said I'd really wanted to get and there we go baby let's go Ooh, let's go we got a quackswell okay quackswell come on give me some good luck we get a galaxy kiram a galaxy tapu coco bro the gold on that looks amazing come here a shiny evelto a baby rayquaza i keep getting baby pokemon from this dude oh my gosh that thing is adorable and honestly i'm kind of okay with not getting any more fusions because it's just gonna make things more difficult
actually have a gold knight. I just got two. I just got a Zeki sword and I got a Garden Cry. Uh, please, no more fusions, bro. No more fusions, please. Please, no more. No, dude. Another one. A Mewtwo knight, dude. Are you kidding me? Let's see what we can get now. Come on, baby. We get another Terrakion, a another Melmetal, and a fusion. But that's not fair. Our final lucky block is actually a Fion. But that's just fine. We got this beautiful Melmetal. That's what we're picking. This might be an unpopular choice here, guys, but I'm gonna go with the Mewtwo Knight as my Pokemon. The Dragonite Mewtwo Fusion is just so awesome. Moving on now to the next round. Only Ancient and Mystery have not been rolled, and there we go, baby! I there just got go. Ancient, ancient Lucky Blocks. Go. On to my spin now. Come on. Please give me some gas. No. That's what we need. Dude, that's what no. I need, baby. God Lucky Blocks. Oh my gosh, that's not good. Dude, Let's go, God Lucky Blocks. This is so good. For, we get a Baby Giratina, a Genesect, and a Kyle Lucky. Dude, Baby Giratina, look at him. Oh my gosh. Dude, I might have to bring a baby Pokemon to the battle just to say I did. But Kyle Lucky, oh my god, that's amazing. And Genesect, come here. Guys, my team is absolutely insane so far. I don't know what Arpus's team is looking like, but surely it's nowhere near as strong as mine. Like that, there's no way. That, that would be pretty impossible. I should probably start catching these Pokemon. But so far, we have Kyogre, Xerneas, and the Fusion Mewtwo Knight. I really hope we get some more baby Pokemon from these. Let's see. We get, oh my gosh, a shiny Genesect, a Cinder Shifu, and an Aggrizard, which is inside of a tree. These God Lucky Blocks came at a great time, too, after that one round. <gasps> baby Kyogre. Oh my god, it's so adorable. Look at the eyes, dude. Uh, yes, I'm catching that. And shiny Eternatus. Oh wait, that's Galaxy. Yo! Galaxy Eternatus and shiny Spectrar. Come here. So far, this round has not been too amazing to me. The whole Alandarus that I can get behind. I don't have a flying or ground type Pokemon yet, and Landorus is both. This is gonna be a very happy round for me. I can tell we get a Latias, a Shadow, Kung Fu, and a Registeel. But these are like the best lucky blocks, though. So what can you expect? We get a Laprera, a Crimson Glastrier, and a Shiny Lugia, my favorite shiny legendary. I'll take that any day of the week. And don't forget to let me know your favorite lucky block from this video in the comments below. I don't really want to go anywhere else. This is like the perfect spot to open these up. We got a Galaxy Reshiram. Oh my god. A Eveltel and a Darkrai Gardevoir. Gyarados Giratina. This is amazing. We're getting like the best Pokemon, but we finally got our Groudon. Unfortunately, on the round where it's a little bit outshined. Not gonna lie. Come on. Come on, Reggie Ice. Not the best. Really not the best. It does have really good special defense, which is useful in certain situations, but I don't really see myself using that, honestly. What else? A Reggie Gigas? Nah, I'm still not using that. Slow start ability means he kind of stinks for the first three turns that he's sent out, and it's just not worth trying to use him. It's really, it's really difficult. But now we're on to our final five god lucky block. This is big, guys. So like I said, whoever wins the battle wins $1,000 from the loser. And yo, with Rayquaza like that, it's gonna be a fun battle. Necro Cosma, Giratina, Gyarados, and Arceus. I mean, I'll take an Arceus any day of the week, please. And come on, what's it gonna be? We get a shiny Eveltel, a Fion, and a Tapu Lele. Okay. I think so far, I'm probably leaning towards Landorus. A Palkia! I think I normally would go with Palkia over Lando, but we already have a dragon and water type, so I think Landorus is probably going to be more useful, so let's go with him. But now for the final god lucky block, what's it gonna be? Palkia, Manaphy, and Galaxy see Moltres? Or is that Shadow? I can't even tell, but either way, we're catching it. There we go. The problem is we got so many good Pokemon this round, I have no idea what to choose. I think I really want to use this Baby Giratina or Baby Lugia, though, but I feel stupid passing on the best fusion Pokemon. I don't know, dude. I'm gonna do it. Moving on to the second to last round now. What are you gonna... Ooh. Oh! Crystal, let's go! I will take that. Oh, that's really good. And come on, give me mystery, baby. Give me some mystery... Ooh, you know what? I'll take it. I like ancient blocks. Ancient's pretty cool. And we finally got the ancient lucky blocks. Dude, these are some of my favorites. Just look how cool. Let's go, baby. So we get a Tapu Fini first off and an ancient Groudon for the second one. This is like the coolest Pokemon ever. Get in my ball. That's gotta be the one we bring. I'll just be so surprised if we see a better Pokemon than that. We get a Mew and a Zapdos. Okay, Zapdos is really sick. I'm not gonna lie. And Mew, ancient Mew, that's actually a real Pokemon. All right, 15 crystal lucky blocks. Oh my goodness. 
God, gosh, this is most certainly one of my favorites, Zarud. So many people say that this should be my favorite legendary, but no, I don't like him. Okay, I don't like him. He kind of stinks. He, he's a bad typing Zamazenta. Let's go, dude. That's pretty good. The thing with Zamazenta and Zacian, though, is even though they're incredibly strong, their move pools are not, or at least their level up move pools. They don't get the best moves by level up. So I'm not sure I'll be using it, but that Evelto, though, I'm definitely considering using any Evelto. That's pretty cool. I don't have a dark type yet. I do have a flying type with Landorus. I think that's perfectly fine, and I think Evelto probably fits in really well with the team. So, so far, I'm definitely leaning that way. Shaman as well could be really good. But let's just keep this up, bro. We only got 11 more blocks, and it's time for the last round and then the battle. We get Genesect, we get a Darkrai, and a Bull Canyon. Okay. Three mythical Pokemon back to back to back. I'm assuming if Arpus does get a Kyogre, he'll probably be bringing that in as well. So, Shaman could count that. And if he does, I'll probably... Oh, Zekrom! Okay, that is probably a much, much better Kyogre counter than Shaman would be, because Shaman is 4x weak to Ice Beam, which Kyogre does get. And we've only got eight more blocks to make this magic happen. Come on, we get a Lugia, a Zacian, a Regirock, and a Glassshire. Bro, that was powerful. Zacian and Lugia back to back. Four more ancient lucky blocks. We get a Glassshire. We get a Zero Aura. Yo! Okay, that is sick. That is so sick. I'm in between Evelto. Oh, Groudon. Okay, now we have a decision to make. We have Groudon, Evelto, and Zekrom. What fits best? Honestly, I th I think Evelto. I think Evelto's dark type is gonna be really good. I could definitely see Arpus bringing some psychics in, and Evelto just destroys them. So I think Evelto is going to be the one. Azelf is definitely not making the team. Dude, I don't want to lose a thousand dollars today what are our final two pokemon we get latios and a Cernius. that is a great way to wrap it up oh my gosh but what ancient pokemon do we pick dude i'm really leaning towards groudon but zashian is also insane i mean we already got kyogre on the team Xerneas is also a really close pick but honestly ancient groudon is just way too cool let's go with that i'm gonna go with the volatile here even though groudon is so good i feel so bad leaving him on the bench but let's go on to the last round and see. Hopefully, we can get another round on, and we'll use it then. Moving on now to the final round for Mr. Cyrus. Oh, and... corrupted. Yeah, corrupted. Let's go. Not bad, dude. Let's see. And now for my final wheel spin of the video. Oh, oh my gosh, okay. dude. Crimson Lucky Blocks, baby. Ah. I'll take it. Final round starts now. Good luck. Good luck, bro. And let's waste no time on popping one open. We get a Calyrex. Yo. Which means if we get Spectra or Glass Shard, we could fuse them. We'll cross that bridge if we get there. Let's see. Crimson Groudon. Okay, we already have a Groudon, though. And an Entei. But yo, this one looks so cool, man. Do we bring two Groudons to the battle? Do I do it? So we've got Kyogre and we've got Groudon on the team, bro. Come on. Let's get a Crimson Rayquaza and get the trio. There's a Marshadow. Not bad at all. Oh, and the Krozma. Dude, my team is so strong. The thing is, I know Arpus is going to have a really strong team as well, so I'm not really sure how strong it is compared to his. Oh, a Jirachi. We don't have a Steel type yet. Uh, We do have a Psychic type with our Mewtwo Knight. Latios as well. The thing is, I really am trying to diversify my team as much as I can. Lugia, Flying Psychic. We have both of those already. So this is kind of making me a little bit more picky. Yes, there's the ground on. We were looking for but we're on to our final 10 lucky blocks before the battle. Meloetta and Urshifu. Okay. Meloetta's not too great, but I will take an Urshifu. And come on, baby. Let's go back to back to back to back. Latios. We get a Cresselia, a Thunderous, Jirachi, Xerneas. Now would be a good chance to get Xerneas on the team, but Cresselia is also a great choice. Cresselia is just so bulky. That could be a great addition. What else? Terrakion. We don't have a fighting or a rock type. I feel like you guys are going to hate me for this, but I totally I really am genuinely considering using him over the Groudon. Like, Groudon is sick. He's always really, really good. Super strong. Bulky. Hits hard. But we have a ground type already, and we don't have a rock or fighting type, which is what Terrakion is. I think that Terrakion fits our team much better! We did just get a Rayquaza! We already have a dragon and a flying type, but it's also Rayquaza! I, I, I don't 
think I can pass up a Rayquaza. Especially for a Terrakion. No matter what my team composition looks like. But let's see what we can get. We get a Crimson Zekrom. A Crimson Melton, which is like two centimeters tall. Okay, I guess I'll catch you. And our final lucky block before the $1,000 battle is a Vic Teeny, which stands for victory. And with victory in mind, we're picking Cresselia. None of these compare to the legendary Rayquaza, so that is what I'm going to go with. And now it's time to catch Arpus on the battlefield. It is time for the ultimate lucky block battle. A thousand dollars on the line. Oh, baby, I'm so nervous. My team is so strong, but I'm assuming yours is probably also incredibly yeah, strong. Yeah, yeah, we're super strong. Don't worry about that. Let's go with this guy. Hello. Oh, Landorus. Yes, okay. sir. Okay, that <laughs> I figured you'd do that. You just earthquake to levitate, Mon. Okay, but no, that's no problem at all. That is no problem at all because we got the boy. Let's go, baby. Come on, Ivelto. Oh, okay. That didn't do much. Let's go. Boom. Okay, okay, and I get some okay, health okay. back and the Tailwind's still up, dude. Tailwind is such a good move. The corrupted Kyogre has hit the battle. I knew though. it, dude. I knew you would have a Kyogre. Oh my gosh. And thankfully, okay. yours is out of the way. I would assume I'm still slower. I'm not. What? Oh my gosh. The origin pulse critical hit. Dude, you did not have to do me like that. And now we have Kyogre versus Groudon. This is my last Pokemon. I don't oh know gosh. if you have any more. I think I only have one play here. And that okay. is, I'm just going to tell you, I'm clicking Outrage. And I'm also clicking my Mega Evolution, baby. No, I didn't. I didn't burn <laughs> you with Lava Plume. Are you kidding me? Burn him, burn him, burn him. Oh, let's go. But you still have another Pokemon. No. Let's go! Dude, that was so close. Today we're doing Pixelmon Skyblock, and each surrounding island is filled with lucky blocks in an evil boss trainer. We need to make it to each island, open all of the lucky blocks, and defeat every boss to win. Can we take down Giovanni and his Mega Mewtwo? All right, and here we are, guys, on the Skyblock. What's going on? We got the Move Learner right here, but more importantly, we got a chest. We got a Lava Bucket, Water Bucket, and some Master Balls. Hey, and there we go. We got the cobblestone generator, boys. This is actually the first cobblestone generator I've ever built, so I'm really proud. All right, but we got 22 cobblestone now. I think that's enough. And this is the first island we need to go to, so let's just start bridging over. And remember, guys, we need to take on a boss trainer at every one of the islands today, which means we need really good Pokemon from these lucky blocks. We need to build the best team possible. And we're out of cobblestone, but do we have enough wood? Let's see if we can make it over. Come on. And yes, we made it to the first island, level 40. Okay, so hopefully we get some good luck from these lucky blocks. Let's see. They are common blocks, so we can get Pokemon like Lenu, which isn't that great at all. I'm pretty sure N's gonna have a Reshiram or a Zekrom, but yo, we upgraded. That's amazing. Okay, so if this upgrades again, a shiny legendary. That is so lucky. Dude, let's go. That's exactly what we need to because these bosses are gonna be hard. We get a Zeb Striker from the next one. Come on, baby. Give me something good. A Mawile, which does have a Mega Evolution, but I don't think we can find that Mega Star unfortunately. Next up, come on, baby, give me something good. Endurance. All right. Interesting. Oh, and there's two. I think there's two more blocks left. One, two. Oh, no, there's three. All right, let's get this one first, please. Oh, it upgraded. I was so scared the Pokemon was just going to fall off the map and <laughs> shiny freaking Charizard, dude. No way. I will take that any day of the week. Thank you. We upgrade again to a shiny bag on, which isn't very great. That was a Salamence, though. Oh my gosh. And I believe this is our final block of this island. It's an Obstagoon. You can barely see it, I know, but yo, that is a great Pokemon. Now, honestly, I think this is the best team we can make. But since N is level 40, I had to set our team to level 40. But before we take on N, let's quickly visit this guy, get some better moves on our Pokemon. All right, but after that, I think our team is ready to fight. And guys, I am actually so nervous right now. Hey guys, really quickly, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. So seriously, I would appreciate it so much. And really, it does just take one simple click. Well, let's do it. Let's take on the first boss today. And he leads off with a Zekrom. How are we going to beat this? How do I beat a Zekrom? We go for Slash and it does a decent amount, but he just takes us out with Thunder. Oh God. He misses Thunder and there we go. Zekrom go. 
He has a Reshi Ram too. I should have expected this, but I really didn't want to think. He has a Reshi Ram too. He goes for Fire Blast and it just does so much, dude. Oh my gosh. All right, we're going to go to Charizard here because I do have the Dragon Breath, which can paralyze and it does paralyze. Just Dragon Breath, please kill it. Yes, okay. Reshiram goes down. Kling Clang is here. I think I flame charge. He misses Zap Cannon. Oh my gosh, wait. So our speed goes up. Let's go for the Incinerate. We take out Kling Clang. Volcanion's going on a tear. Let's go for a Scald. Takes out the Archeops. Wait, it was actually a Zorar. Archeops is here. We're going for Scald. Wing Attack doesn't do anything. We take out the Archeops. We won. Oh my god. Dude, Volcanion. Dude, this is the best Pokemon. We got saved by a Volcanion. I can't believe it. Oh my gosh. All right, it's time for the next boss, Cyrus. And Cyrus is right there, so we need a few more cobblestone. Oh, I thought I broke the generator. Okay, we're good. We have 40, though. I think that's enough, and I think it'll actually take less blocks if we just build from here, so let's do that. And look at that. We are here, and Cyrus is level 60. Okay, but thankfully, we have better lucky blocks now, uncommon blocks, which means they can upgrade into no freaking way. Our first lucky block is a shiny Reishi which is a fusion between Urshifu and Rayquaza. I cannot even believe that. Okay, all right. Next block is a shiny Drudigan. Honestly, one of my favorite shinies. I just love this. Like the green and orange, it shouldn't look good, but I just think it does. I think it looks great. I'm trying to make sure I don't miss any lucky blocks as well, but let's just open this one. Okay, that's terrible. That's not gonna help us at all versus N. Dude, I'm so scared the Pokemon's just gonna fall into the abyss. Please. Oh, oh, no, come. Thank you. Dude, if that somehow fell and we missed a shiny Aegislash, I don't know what I would have been so upset. Oh, that is so big, dude. That is one of the best Pokemon we could have gotten. Primeape as well. Not too good, I'll be honest. Not too great. But dude, the fact we got a fusion already, like I, I am so excited. What can we get next? We get a shiny Nidorino, which is not too interesting, nor good. So I'm actually really scared. Like I we need better Pokemon for this fight. So let's see. We get a shiny Eldegoss, which is a final evolved Pokemon. So you know what? It's not terrible. And is this our final lucky block and i think it is but guys i just can't wait till we get to that island look rare lucky blocks and it's pretty far away but you can see the master lucky blocks over there i want those so bad well, let's see what we get a shiny kingler you know what i'll take that that's pretty awesome i think i'll swap lining for the reishifu and age slash for durant well i think that's the final team we're gonna go with let me just make a quick stop with our friend here and then it's battle time oh crap i just realized i'm still in creative too here let me throw away like half of my cobblestone so that's fair sorry Right, guys i was trying to get rid of some of the structures on the island like from the last time we recorded on skyblock so that's why i went to create it but either way it's time to take on cyrus so yeah sorry about that but here it is time to take on cyrus baby he's got a haunch crow okay just like that we take down haunch crow can i hit a cross chop on a dialga though yes i can and thankfully we can too so now i think we just go out into this dude we can just brick break dialga reishifu going crazy now we are on palkia this has to be like the last pokemon right this has to be Cyrus's last Pokemon. I could try just coming out here and outraging it. Let's just try that first. Outrage takes down Palkia, and we have won the battle. Let's go. We took down Dialga and Palkia. Cyrus, uh, eat that. But now we've beaten two out of the four boss trainers. Our next challenge is right over here. With all the legendary lucky blocks, we do need a few more cobblestone, I think, though, so let's just do this. Let's just get to mining, man. It's my favorite part. All right, we got 30 now. I feel like that's probably enough. I really hope so, at least, because by Pickaxe is almost broken, so we could run into a problem. Oh my gosh, we're so close. Come on, the dirt. Can the dirt save us? I think we can make it. I think we can make it. Let's go! All right, we're on the third island, and here is Maxi at level 80. Okay. You already know what time it is. It's time to open some lucky blocks. These can all be legendary Pokemon, which means they can upgrade to shiny legendary Pokemon, but right away, we get a thunderous dude. That is so strong. Let's go. This lucky block has to be scared. If the Pokemon Pokemon just runs off the cliff. Thank you, Dialga. Get in, get in, get in. Yes, okay, okay. If that Dialga just fell, I would have I would have cried myself to sleep. I'm not gonna lie. All right, but next up is a Kyogre. This is like one of the most helpful legendaries we could catch, probably. That is amazing. Oh, can it get any better than that? A Zacian art. Don't run, don't run. Imagine, imagine he's just like, let me be free, <laughs> and he falls. Oh, that is so good. Like, it actually got better than Kyogre. That is amazing. All right, Regice, not very good, but still a legendary. Let's keep it up. Come on. Ooh, a Kiram, dude. That's gonna be nice. 
nice. I think we should put that on the team. I mean, ice type coverage, beautiful. Suicune, some bulk. I love this legendary Pokemon. Oh, what is this? Our final lucky block right here before the maxi battle. I think it is. And oh, it upgraded. We get a shiny legendary Pokemon and it's a shiny Marshadow. Dude, I'll take that. But yeah, I don't see any more blocks. So let's check out the team. I mean, it would be wrong to just not fill the team with legendaries, right? All right. And I think the team is all set. Let's waste no more time. It's time to take on Maxi, who leads off with a wheezing. Okay, I'm just gonna go for a discharge here. Does a lot. And uh, I'm just gonna volt switch now because I don't wanna take poison damage. There we go. Nice. <laughs> Let's go to Zacian. Yeah, I feel hella confident in this pick. Ooh, but I don't think I can really touch a Charizard. I'm gonna go to my Volcanion here. Can't forget about this, dude. He saved us in that first battle. Let's just go for the Steam Eruption and boom, destroyed. <gasps> but Groudon is here, guys. I'm gonna go to Thunderous here. There we go. There we go. On the Earth Power, beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna drop your defense. This is what I'm gonna try to do with Crunch. Okay. All right, he went for rest. I'm bringing out Kyogre then. This is what we need to do. Origin Pulse, please hit. Yes, Groudon gets one shot. Okay, there we go. That's what we needed. Next is Mighty Yenna. Okay, well, I guess we can just stay in. Where is the Mighty Yenna? There's the guy. How you doing? Okay, let's just Origin Pulse. Mighty Yenna goes down. Blaziken, I just, I'm staying in and clicking this move. Camerupt is here. I'm just gonna click it. I'm, I'm just gonna click. <gasps> Mega Camerupt. Yo, this is sick, guys. Look at this. I love Mega Camerupt. It's definitely one of my favorite Megas. It's just, it's so cool. Let me just origin pulse it though. I'm sorry. I know I just called it really cool and I'm just gonna annihilate it. Bye-bye. And we have won the battle GG Maxi, which means we have one more final boss in this challenge. And he's on this island and you can just barely see him right there. Look at that. But I just need to farm up some cobblestone now and we'll make our way over. Oh, and our wooden pickaxe is gonna break. No. Oh, let's go though. Okay, I was able to break some of these blocks. We can just farm knees yo give me this we just need one more yes there we go okay okay because now we can make a wooden axe again oh thank god all right but we got 23 cobblestone i don't think this is enough but let's just see yeah and just as i expected not enough but yo look at giovanni oh my gosh guys the final boss is right there i am so nervous okay but now we should be good to get there let's go we made it to the final island giovanni at level 100 and look at all these beautiful epic lucky blocks let's do this man first block is no freaking way it upgraded to a fusion and we have a mana risu which is mana fee and pacha risu super cool that's also a very strong fusion so let's go bro next up is a shiny calyrex Yes. Probably won't use that unless we get like a spec trier, but dude, I'll take that. How does it get much better than this? All right, let's open this block. Come on. We get a shiny Verizian. I love this shiny so much. Look at the pink. Looks so good. Well, let's keep it up, man. Can we keep it? Are you serious? Shiny Eternatus. That has to come to the battle. That has to. Oh my God. And next up is a shiny Cresselia. One of my favorite shiny legendaries, dude. Oh, I'm... Okay, well, it... It's one of my favorite, but that doesn't mean I want two of them. Come on. But we're on to our final two lucky blocks. Come on, baby. Come Another upgrade. Yes, come on. Come on. Come on. And we get the Laprera Fusion. Nice. Lapras and Torterra. That is so classic, dude. I love how this looks. Thankfully, also a very strong fusion. But guys, we're here. Our final lucky block. Before we take on the final boss. Three, two, one. Ah. Oh, what a fitting end, dude. Yes. Okay, we get an upgrade as well. And it is a Mewtwo Zera Aura fusion. Mew Aura. Thank you. I'm gonna limit myself to only two fusions for the Giovanni battle. So I think this is the final team. So let's visit the move guy one last time and then take on the boss, Giovanni. And now, guys, the time has come to take on Giovanni. I am so nervous, but there's no way around this. Giovanni, here we come. And he leads off with the Nido. King. Okay. I don't think I need to explain why that is bad for us, but I'm just gonna go for a crunch. Like, what can a Needle King do to me? Oh, a lot more damage than I did to him. That's for sure. Okay. Here is the Mewtwo. The Mega Mewtwo. I don't know what Mewtwo this will be. It could be Mega X or Mega Y. I don't know. I don't want to swap in anything, though. We're just gonna stay in. Unfortunately, Mega Mewtwo takes us out. 
It's the Mega Mewtwo X. Um, if it's X, I'm going into Zacian because we're a fairy type. Oh, look at that, dude. Mega Mewtwo is so sick. All right, we got to win this. I'm going to go for a Moon Blast here. Psy Strike does a lot, but Moon Blast does a little more. And thankfully, we dropped the special attack, so Moon Blast can take it out again. Doug Trio is here. But what do I do here? I want to use my Mew Aura or my Mera Aura, excuse me. And let's just try a Psychic. How much does that do? Sucker Punch. Oh my gosh. We take it down. Neo Queen comes in, though. Can we just psychic this and kill it? Can we? We do. And we have won the battle and the Sky Block Challenge. DG Giovanni. Today, we're upgrading Pokemon to Shiny Mega Pokemon in Minecraft Pixelmon. Each round, will have five minutes to catch Shiny Pokemon that can Mega Evolve before we 1v1. And for each battle, we can only choose one Shiny Mega Evolution. First person to win four Shiny Mega Pokemon battles is the winner. Timer starts now. Good luck, sir. Good luck. Let's do this. And now we got to fight as many Shiny Mega Pokemon as we can. Let's go. And here's a mega right here but it is not shiny that is so unfortunate wait but wait there's a shiny beedrill right here dude let's go off to a great start already shiny mega beedrill but that's some great luck right away if you guys want to give me luck don't forget to subscribe and yo, there is a shiny tyranitar right here hello sir Get in the master ball. That is some luck right there. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh, a Torkoal. That does not mega evolve, but that would be so sick. And that reminds me to ask you guys, if you think any specific Pokemon should have a mega evolution that doesn't, let me know in the comments down below. But I think Torkoal would be a really, really cool Pokemon to have a mega evolution. Honestly, there's so many that should get megas that just don't. What happens if I catch zero Pokemon that can mega evolve? Do I just go into the battle with my own? two fists and try to fight whatever Arpus sets out of me? I don't really know. This could be really bad. I'll take anything at this point. Give me an Aldino. I need something. I can't show up to a battle with zero Pokemon. So we've already got two great shiny Mega Pokemon. I mean, what more do we need? Oh, I definitely want Mega Metagross in this video. Here's a shiny Matang. No. Oh, wait, but here's a shiny Scizor. Yes, please get in the Master Ball. Oh my gosh, we have three very strong Megas already. This is crazy. Easy. But obviously, we can only choose one for the battle, so we need to choose wisely. Dude, I will take an Aldino at this point. Please, give me anything. Come on, please. Okay, we, we, we found a Plains biome. Maybe that will help a little bit. Maybe the Mesa just wasn't it. Gyarados! Yes, and it's shiny! Oh, thank the Lord, we finally found a Pokemon that is shiny and Mega Evolves. Holy guacamole, and Gyarados is a pretty sick one, too. Oh, let's go. Oh, I found another one! Oh my gosh, let's go. Well, like I said in this video, I definitely want shiny Mega Metagross, but I would also love to use a shiny Mega Mewtwo Y. That'd be awesome. And we got 45 seconds left in this round. I think this is probably what we're going to end up with, unless we magically find another shiny Mega, but Beedrill, Tyranitar, and Scizor... There's the timer. All right, and time is up. And I have two Pokemon, but they're exactly the same. Let's do this. But it's time for the first Mega Pokemon or Shiny Mega Pokemon Ooh, battle. I'm not sure you have any moves that can damage me too much, but I also don't think I have any moves that can damage you too much. So this might be a longer 1v1 battle. Yeah, I'm kind of scared, bro. I'm not going to lie, but let's see the Mega Evolutions, Come on, the Shiny please. Megas. Let's go, Gyarados. I actually have no idea who's going to win. <laughs> oh, oh, there we go. Wait, I forgot. I should have X scissored. I forgot you're a dark type now. No. Why did I wing attack? That was such a throw. I Don't forgot you're a dark type. No, I oh. have on my threat. Oh, no, 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 no. You have a priority yeah, move. Yes. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah, I do, yeah, I do. It doesn't kill, though. No. Yes, let's go. Let's go. We got a W on the first round. That is huge. And a shiny Houndoom just spawned next to us. I mean, it's not the best Mega, but that's a shiny Mega. These shiny Megas are just spawning right in front of me today. It's actually crazy. We got to focus up now because we still need to win three more rounds. Oh, no, no. I found the best Pokemon in the game and it Mega Evolves. But it's not shiny. Are you actually serious? Come on. I don't even want to look at it. It just makes me sad every time I look at it. Wait, is that a shiny? Yes. I could not tell if that was a shiny Garchomp or not. It looked like a normal Garchomp. But that is 100% shiny, shiny Mega Garchomp, which actually looks really cool. So, so far, not bad at all. Houndoom and Garchomp. Oh, a Blaziken. It's a shiny. No, dude. No. Oh, a Metagross and it's not shiny either. A Caesar and it's not 
shiny either. Give me one shiny mega Pokemon. I think everything else in the area is shiny except for the ones that can mega evolve. I am being trolled. I am being trolled. Blastoise. That's not shiny. It is not shiny. Of course. Of course it's not. Why would it be shiny? Why? Why? What's the point of it being shiny? I don't know. But come on. We only got like half of our time left. I mean, I'm okay with Mega Garchomp and Houndoom, but I would love to get like a legendary Diancie or Rayquaza. Of course, this had to be not shiny. Dude, my, my heart is broken. <laughs> oh, and a Latios too. That could have been a shiny Mega Latios. Oh my God. <gasps> Absol. Wait, did Absol Mega Evolves? Yeah, Absol for sure Mega Evolves. Okay, let's go. I will take an Absol, I guess. I mean, I don't know if it's like a very good Mega Pokemon per se, but at least it's a Mega. And we only have like 30 seconds left now, so we gotta find this fast. There are shinies. Ep oh, that's what we need. That is a shiny Mega. That is a Mega Low Punny. Perfect timing. We only have 10 seconds left. Dude, that's crazy. We just beat the buzzer. There's the buzzer. Time for the next battle. You have my favorite mega Pokemon. Oh my gosh. Yeah, but uh, I don't I don't know if I can beat a guard chomp with this thing. This is this is not. Oh! Who knows? Hey, do you have play rough? Oh, there's well, no uh, way you just one shot me. <laughs> I think there is a way. That was the quickest one v one battle of all time. Why is it your favorite Pokemon? He stinks. It stinks! And just like that, we are up to zip. That is so nice, bro. I cannot blow this lead. Another shiny mega I definitely want is shiny mega Gengar. Because shiny Gengar really isn't the best, but shiny mega Gengar... Ooh, are you kidding me? I another Metagross just spawns in front of us. Not shiny. Oh my god, that actually breaks my heart, dude. We were that close. The thing is, I, I, I just don't think that the Pixelmon gods are on my side. They're not blessing me. I've seen so many Mega Pokemon that are not shiny. I've seen Rayquaza. I've seen a bunch of starters. I've, I've seen, just seen a bunch of Pokemon that can Mega Evolve, but they're all non-shiny. One of these rounds, I will get incredibly lucky, or, or maybe even not lucky. I'll just have normal person, normal human luck and i'll get a good shiny oh bro let's go shiny septile that is actually great mega septile is so good and shiny mega septile mwah, amazing oh and here's another shiny houndoom i mean might as well catch it wait that is actually huge i don't know if it's better than septile but we gotta catch it so just like that we went from having zero megas to having three unfortunately though none of them are like the best mega pokemon so we could just get destroyed here yes there we go Ask and you shall receive. I got a shiny Tyranitar. Let's go, baby. That's sick. And that's just still pretty early on in the round. So I might actually be able to get another shiny Pokemon that can Mega Evolve. I don't know if I'm going to find one that's better than Titar, though. That thing is pretty gosh dang strong. We got just under a minute left now. And I have not seen another shiny Mega at all. Ooh, shiny. Oh, yes. Yes. Let's go. Oh, baby. This is the best round ever. Ever. Let's go, Shiny Rayquaza. Mm. The Pixelmon guys, they've heard my concerns. They've heard my complaints. They've heard it all. And they just gave me the best Mega in the game. But it is very counterable. So if Arpus has like an Ice type or a Rock type or a Fairy type, I could still lose this battle. The time is just about to run out now. Let's keep it going. Oh, there's a Shiny Blastoise. Get in the ball before the timer's just about to... I'm gonna say it counts. We caught it before the timer went off. Moving on to the third. No. Yeah, baby, that's right. You couldn't even finish your sentence. You saw the black dragon. Shiny Mega Rayquaza, dude. All right, let's just get this. That's over with. right, baby. I got one move and one move only. That should <laughs> yeah. destroy you. Oh wait, you turn into a dragon type, don't you? I do, I do, and I do have a dragon oh, move. Wait, if this doesn't kill. <gasps> but. Yes! And we one-shot no. it. Let's go. No. All right. So it is two to one. Boom, baby. There we go. He could not handle the Rayquaza. Let's go. Are you kidding me? Right off the bat, another Mega Houndoom. Dude, Houndoom wants me to bring it to the battle so bad. I just can't, though. Mega Houndoom is kind of trash. Well, let's keep up the search. We cannot afford to lose another round and let Cyrude tie this up. No way. Oh. Oh. Shiny Swampert, that is so good. Okay, we are in business. Wait, and there's a Blastoise too. Yeah, just give me all the shiny water starters. Only the ones with Megas though. All right, so we got three shiny Megas just like that. And honestly, Mega Swampert's great. I'm probably bringing that. Oh yeah! Shiny Megas! 
that a gross? Eat that, Arpus! Oh, uh, there's no way he can be the shiny Metagross. Yes! Shiny Mewtwo! Oh my god! I was waiting the whole time for this. I was waiting, dude. But I can't catch it for some reason. Get in the ma get the master ball. There we go. Thank you, sir. And it's time for the battle. Moving on to the next battle. Oh, no wait. No way, dude. How are you getting these insane Pokemon every <laughs> round? Yo, yo, but I'm in trouble. Dude, you four times resist me. Oh, oh. Oh, do you only have psychic type moves? I might have a different type move, but I'm not going to say it's going to help me anymore with my psychic moves. Hmm. You might have Aura Sphere. That's the only thing I can think of. Psy Strike. I, <laughs> I really wish <laughs> I did, dude. <laughs> oh, come on, baby. Let's go, Metagross. One more hit. <laughs> one more hit, and this is over. Oh, Mewtwo just got wiped. Oh, my God, dude. I got Let's destroyed. Go. All right, it's two to two. Don't call it a comeback, but uh, I'm coming back, baby. It's two to two. Dude, how did I lose that round with a Mega Mewtwo? I mean, get a Mega Metagross. That's how. That's fine, because we're both still two. Two rounds away from winning the challenge. So I just really need to win this round right here. Come on, let's see. Let's see. What do we have here? <gasps> Scyther. Let's go. I know Arpus already used Scyther earlier, but he won that round. Or Caesar. I don't know why I'm saying. Sorry, not Scyther. Arpus won the round that he used Caesar, so I don't know. I might have to do the same thing. Oh my gosh, please tell me. Please tell me it's shiny. Yes, dude. Oh, I, I could not tell it all. Thank God that was shiny. That is such a good shiny mega. Oh, that came in so clutch too because like we're halfway through the round and that's our first shiny mega oh wait no here's another manectric as well shiny mega manectric what's up good boy good boy and there's another there's another shiny obama snow i mean i'm probably not gonna bring this one let's be honest obama snow isn't the best mega but that's still sweet i will take it megas are such a cool concept honestly when they first came out i didn't like them because Oh, I got another Mega Ray! Oh! Oh, I don't know if we're allowed to use the same Pokemon twice, though. Oh, I'm gonna have to check with him before the round starts, but I definitely know which Pokemon I want to use this battle. I'm just not sure I'm allowed to. I mean, so far, we're 100%. Oh, dude, that could have been a Shiny Sharpedo. Dang it. I mean, so far, we're 100% bringing Shiny Gengar to the battle. Unless we find, like, a Shiny Latios, Latios, or Diancy right now. Oh, Agron. Okay, I feel like Agron's the first Pokemon that I for sure am allowed to use because I have Caesar and Rayquaza, but we've both used them before already. So I'm not sure I'm allowed to. So I might have to default to the Agron. It could be really, really bad or it could be really great. I think that that's how this one's gonna go. On to the next battle now. Mega Gengar versus Mega mm. Agron. Okay, so you're definitely gonna go first and my special defense is not too high. So... <laughs> I think I have to one-shot you if I win this. But, dude, I don't have, like, any crazy strong moves, so I kind of have to go for some cheese here. You- No way! You just put me to sleep! Are you serious? <laughs> no, that is not any one-shot me! It's a critical hit! Bro, I just got, like, tortured. That was horrible. Dude, let's go. Luck is on our side today. But we still need to win one more round to close this out. It is not over yet. So come on, game. Where are the shiny mega evolutions? I want all of them. Yes. Come on, baby. I'm winning this round. Give me that. Give me that money. I will take a mega salamence. Are you kidding me? That is so good. Well, there is nothing over here. I'm getting trolled. I am actually getting trolled. Oh, wait. No, I'm not. I, I am completely. It's completely the opposite. Everything is worth it. We got shiny mega mawile. If you don't know why mega mawile is so good, it's because of its ability. The ability huge power essentially just doubles the Pokemon's attack stat. So mega mawile is crazy, crazy strong. That is an awesome find. And there's another scissor over there, but we cannot use duplicates. <gasps> Ooh, Houndoom. Not the best Mega, but it could be such a good matchup against other Pokemon. The problem is I just don't know what Arpus is going to bring into battle. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my gosh. Come here. Yes. There is no way. We just found shiny Latios. Oh my god. I was hype about Mawile, but I think we have to bring Latios. Oh my god. I'm so happy about that, but it's almost time. Oh, for us to for us to battle. <laughs> Moving on to the next battle, what we got? Mega Ooh, Latios oh, versus Mega Salamence. Um, I don't know if I like this or if I hate this. I don't know either. I don't have Dragon Pulse, so I'm just clicking my best move right now. Okay, I think I'm 
I think I can one shot you, honestly. But we're gonna find out next turn because I'm gonna protect. Oh <laughs> what a nerd! <laughs> okay, okay. What a nerd! There we go. Boom! Who's a nerd now? <laughs> So we just been one shotting each other. All right, it is three to three. All right, final round. Whoever wins is the winner. Good luck. Good luck. Let's do it. It all comes down to this, man. I cannot believe I let Cyber come back, but it doesn't matter because we're finding the best Mega Pokemon this round. Trust me. Where's my Mega Diancy, man? Where is it? What Pokemon do I want then? A shiny Blaziken? Ugh, we are really getting limited in the Megas that we can even use at this point. Come on, man. Show me the shinies. Where are they at? Oh, a shiny Haxorus, dude. That would be a sick Mega. Dude, the desert biomes are usually so nice to me, but right now, I don't see anything. Shiny Steelix. That gets a Mega. Oh, I'll take it. Maybe not the best Mega ever, but it could potentially work depending on what Mega he brings. <gasps> yes. Oh, I saw that up there. I saw that shiny Lucario. That is amazing. That's like one of the best Megas we could get for this round, I think. Come on, man. We just got to find like one or two more good ones and then I'll feel safe. Ooh, Slow King. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it gets a Mega. I'm like not 100%. <gasps> no, we can't use the Primals. Are you serious? I would totally win this whole thing if I could catch that shiny Groudon. Only around two minutes left now, guys. I'm getting so nervous. Because although we do have a great Mega Pokemon, I mean, we, we only have one, guys. Oh, and... Buzzer beater, I just got a bomb of snow. I don't think I'm gonna bring it though. Oh, is that a shiny? <gasps> Tell me that shiny Deancy. No, dude. Oh, I'll take the Mawile though. If he brings like a dragon, I think Mawile is gonna be my number one. And I'm just gonna pray that he doesn't have like a fire move or a ground move or something like that. Because if he dies, well, then I'm toast. Yes. Okay. Okay. Mega Altaria. There's another one. Okay, that works. Is that. That's another Mega Swampert. Okay. I mean, we never brought this Pokemon to the battle. Technically, it's not a dupe. We can use that. It's not looking good, boys. It's not looking good, Golem. And the worst part is, if I lose, I feel like one of my other Pokemon probably could have beat whatever I would have just lost to. And there's the timer. It's time for the final battle. And then it's time for the final showdown. Oh, um, Shiny Mega Mawile versus Shiny Mega Lucario. I actually don't know who's going to win this. Do you have a... Oh, you... I don't think you get Earthquake. You're gonna close combat me. Does that I do mean, a lot? I don't know! Ah! So I have Adaptability, which doubles all of my stab moves. Okay. Remember that. And ah. you have Huge Power, which doubles your attack stat. Yes, sir. Oh my god. No! Oh my god, I did so much! No! 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 no way! I want to show you! Mega Mawile wins. Cyrude is the winner. Oh my god! Let's go! We let Lucky Blocks choose our starter Pokemon in Minecraft Pixelmon. Each round will break three Pixelmon Lucky Blocks, then choose one of the Pokemon to catch for our team. Each round, the Lucky Blocks are going to get stronger, and eventually we'll be picking from Legendary Pokemon or Mega Pokemon starters. So watch it to the end to see what crazy Pokemon we catch. And Mr. J, are you ready to start? I'm ready, man. All right, because it is time for round one. Woo! We got common Lucky we Blocks go. here, and I'm going first. So mm -hmm, let's see what mm -hmm. I get from the far Ooh, left. The first one's going to be... <laughs> okay, we get a Smeargle, which is oh, not gosh. the best. In the middle, though, we get... Come on! Ah! Oh! oh! Greninja! Oh, oh that is, like, Dude, the best thing we can really get. That good. is so good. And oh, on the gosh. far What's right... What's the last one? <laughs> We get a little oh, Paris, good. which is terrible. Don't choose the middle one. Dude, this Greninja <laughs> in the middle. I mean, I think you know what Pokemon oh, I'm going to catch. Gosh. There we go. All right, Greninja has been chosen. Okay, you got a Greninja from your first lucky one. Please give me something good as well. Well, I'm going to open the middle one first. Come on, come on, Are come sure? on. Okay. <laughs> you shouldn't have opened that one first. Okay, the right one's going to be... Oh, we got an upgrade. Let's go. What's the last one? Victory Bell. Okay. But what is this upgrade? Upgrade going to give me boom oh no way so you get a legendary pokemon from this round give me a good legend come on come on oh boom i mean that's better than a victory bell i will <laughs> take it the chances to upgrade are only like 20 percent, so that was super lucky so now it is time for the uncommon lucky block round round two as we just saw these can upgrade to legendary blocks so let's see come on i think the strat is i gotta stand on it you ready and it's a Yo, shiny wishy-washy wishy obviously these lucky blocks contain only shiny pokemon so let's Come on, shiny. Oh, oh 
Oh, let's go. We got ourselves an upgrade. Yo, I feel like this side is super lucky, the right side. Right? And I've oh upgraded both times. What about this, though? Come on, the middle one. Okay, Jigglypuff. Thank God. Thank God. Okay. If this is a Cosmog or a Cubfu <laughs> or any of those, like, bad legendaries, I'm going to be so sad. No! Oh, it was close to a Cubfu. But we get the Urshifu. Not a bad round. Let's go. You got Urshifu from your run. That is not fair, man. I got Verizion. Okay, what is this? They're both fighting types. Both pretty decent legendaries. Okay, here we go. I'm coming. Lucky block. Come on. Boom. Okay, Hypno. The right one. Can it upgrade again? Oh, it can. No way. That's the luckiest side. Can we upgrade the middle? Come on. Three, two, one. Boom. No. You might have to pick that shiny Skeledurge. I'm not going to lie. That is so sick. Okay, okay. But what legendary am I going to get? Oh, <laughs> I got an upgrade to an epic lucky block. So these are all shiny legendaries that come from this block. I can't come believe on, it, bro. On, please, the right side, right side. Boom. Oh, a shiny Tapu Lele. Let's go. I will take it. So you got two legendaries on your team, Mr. J. You are two for two. But you have a Greninja, though. That's basically a legendary, right? That is honestly true. Here we go. Rare lucky blocks. These are guaranteed legendaries. Please, something bad. Something bad. Okay. We get ourselves a lot. Yes. Okay, this mm -hmm. one in the middle, middle one. Bam! Ooh, okay, a Terrakion. I also love how these Pokemon float. Terrakion yeah, yeah. wings now, <laughs> Look apparently. At On the far right, this is the lucky side. It's been upgrading every time. <gasps> oh, no! I break the upgrade streak, but it's still an Eveltel. Which one are you choosing? Urshifu was a dark type, so do I really want to pick Eveltel? My gut is telling me to pick this Terrakion in the middle, really? so uh, okay. that's what we're going to do. Terrakion's super strong. It's another fighting type, which I just realized. Dang it! I picked another fighting type. All right, anyways, moving on. Let's Let's see what I'm gonna get though. Guaranteed legendaries. I'm gonna start with the right side though. Maybe again upgrade to a shiny legendary. No, we got it. Ooh. Oh no, you still need to get a guarantee. That's, that's nothing, bro. Okay. That's crazy. Middle one is a Groudon. I'm getting the big legendary Pokemon. Oh, we got Articuno. though. Okay, okay, okay. Dude, this is a hard decision. Giratina or Groudon? Let's go. I'll take Groudon. Moving on now to the fourth round, which of course is <laughs> epic go. lucky blocks. Each one of these blocks contain a shiny legendary or an upgrade to a mega lucky block, which Ooh. of course are mega Pokemon. So let's see. First block. Three, two, Ooh. one. Boom. Oh, shiny Regigigas. Shiny Regigigas. Probably okay. one of the worst legends you can get. Bah. Oh. Oh, no, that's bad. That's bad. You get Mega Pokemon. What? Let's go. Let's go. We get an upgrade. A Mega Lock. You know what? We'll open it after. We'll open yeah, it last. Open after. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What? Oh back to back. Opus, if you get Mega Rayquaza, I'm going to cry. <laughs> What? Primal Groudon. You're gonna one-up me? What is this? I have a normal Groudon. And a Mega Sableye. I think we all know what I'm choosing here. The Primal Groudon, of course. All right, Apis, you got Primal Groudon. You literally one up me, man. This is not fair. Ooh, Shiny Reggie shiny Drago. Reggie. Right side's gonna give us a oh. Shiny Zacian. Well, I think I know what you're picking. Well, depending on the middle one. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh! No! way you get the upgrade okay a chance for mega rayquaza give me a good one give me a good one three two one boom no i'll definitely pick the shiny zashi under this thing is insane i don't blame you at all that is a great pokemon now we're moving on to the fun lucky blocks we get some custom textures galaxy legendary pokemon these are probably my favorite custom textures i'm not gonna lie but let's see what we can get come on boom. Ooh. look yeah. how cool that is oh that's my gosh sick. okay so landorus Great Pokemon. I will take mm -hmm. that from the middle. Something bad, something Bam. bad. Come on. Yes. We take those. Come on, please, please, please. Something bad. Uh, no. <laughs> Galaxy Eternatus. That's like the best legend in the game. I am 100% <sighs> picking that as my Pokemon. All right, Tiapis. You got Galaxy Eternatus, man. It's just not fair. I just lose. What is this? Don't forget, though. Mega Rayquaza still on the table. Arceus. Ooh, you could get a Galaxy true. Arceus. Let's see it right now. You got Eternatus from the right side, right? Yes, sir. Yes, okay, sir. Okay, here we go. Come on. Give me Eternatus as well. Boom. Ooh, Galaxy Zarude. The middle one is going to be... 
A <laughs> Ooh, that is a fusion. That's not even a galaxy Pokemon. All right. And the left side is going to give me a fusion <laughs> Pokemon as well. What is this? It's got to be a galaxy mod. I'll be nice. I will pick Zerud this time. All right. I mean, hey, sure it's got to be a decent Pokemon, right? I'm sure. Zerud, come here. And we're moving on now to another custom lucky block, the crystal lucky blocks. These ones are sick, man. They have custom crystal legendary Pokemon inside. No, that's so good. Zash. And that kind of looks like the shiny one. On the right, we have... Here we go. Okay, well, I already have that Pokemon. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Cobalion. It's like the opposite of Terrakion. You know what? I think I'm still gonna stay away from Zacian. You have a Zacian. Plus, Cobalion being a steel type can help me beat Zacian. So, I'm honestly not even upset about that. Okay, you actually got a decent legendary Pokemon. But there's obviously much better ones out there. Just like this Pokemon right here. Boom! Oh, no. That's like the worst one. <laughs> God damn it, man. Okay, give me something better. Oh, there we go. I get your favorite legendary Pokemon, actually. I don't okay, know if I should be happy okay. or sad right now. Middle one. Boom. Ooh, Tapu Ooh. Bullet. Dude, that thing looks the sick. Just to guarantee myself a win, I feel like I have to pick Lugia. Dang, man. I wanted that so bad. But now we're moving on to the fun stuff. The Mega Lucky Blocks. Each yeah. of these, of course, contain a Mega Evolution. Come on. The bad Mega get back, Mega. I just want Mega Rayquaza. That's it. Come on. Uh, oh, not again. Not again. Oh, my gosh. I mean, I, do I want to dupe? No, I really don't. So, oh, that's kind of bad. That is kind of bad. All right, but let's keep it up. Come on. Okay. Ooh, Mega, Mega Manetric. Very underrated Mega. The Groudon is literally stepping on this final block. I can't even open you can't it. Even I, open. Oh, oh, it's a Mega Garchomp. Mega Garchomp. That's you sick. can't see him. He's inside of Groudon. Can you catch it? That was the question. Oh, gosh. I don't know if I'll be able to. Um, for that reason, I might end uh, up just going with Mega Manetric. I don't want to yeah. risk catching Groudon. I mean, chuck the Master Ball from this direction and hope for the best, I guess. Just hope for the best. I mean, <laughs> let's... Let, yeah. Oh, gosh. Oh, it missed. It Ooh, missed. What's it going to be? Oh, I think, I think you got to be an extra. <laughs> what? I have two primal Groudons. I never thought I'd have this problem. All right, Alpish, you got yourself another primal Groudon. Can I get like a primal Kyogre to counter the two of the Pokemon? That'd be kind of nice. Boom. Ooh, Ooh that's a really, wild. really good one. Very good Mega Evolution. The right side's going to give me a Ooh. Mega Swampert. You got anchor oh, arms, bro. The my big arms. Gosh. Both of them are really, really good Megas. And the final one on the left side is going to be... Oh. I'm going to start blushing in a second. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm kind of getting nervous. <laughs> okay, now I'm definitely going with the Mega Swampert, though. Come here, buddy. And now, Mr. J, we are on to the final round of Lucky Blocks, which, of course, is Fusion Pokemon. These are some of the most powerful Pokemon in Pixelmon. Oh, gosh. If you get RCC turned, I'm actually going to cry. I just lose instantly. Oh, ooh, ooh, a classic. Agrizard, of course, Mega okay. Aggron and Mega Charizard X fused. And now moving on, we're going on the far left. Come on, baby. Oh, no. Oh, that's so good. Kyogre, oh, Regilecki, and Kyogre Fusion. And for our final lucky block in the middle, we have Laprera, ooh. which is Torterra and Lapras. I'm really scared. I'm going to catch the Laprera. Let me just chuck a ball and... No! no! <laughs> Let's go! Oh, uh, and we caught the Laprera. I really Woo! wanted Kyolecki, but you know what? Laprera is super good. And now, Jay, it is your final round before we battle. I feel like I need to get one of the best fusions. Your team is so good right now. Left side is going to give me... Boom! Ooh! Mewtwo Zero Aura Fusion. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that is so clean, Let's bro. Mewtwo Aura. Aha, uh -huh. middle one is going to be... Oh, my Dude, that's one of my gosh. favorites. Chandelure is... And Spectrier fuse. But the right side, the lucky side so far in this oh, video don't do it is to me. going don't to do it be. To me. Don't do it. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I have to pick the Zero or Mewtwo fusion, right? Join my team, buddy. Here we go. Oh! oh! What? No! <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you're using a spectral lure. It is time for the battle. And we're moving on to the final starter battle. Swampert, do it to him. Oh! One tap him right now. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. Mega Swamper goes down. Let's go, Lapra. No! Galaxy Eternatus. The moon blasting Zerud. Very interesting. Flamethrower and Zerud goes down. What do you have for a primal Groudon, baby? What do you have? Oh my god. It's just not fair. It's live, four live, times live, live. again. Oh no. Fainted, 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 fainted. Come on, come on. Let's go. No! You come took on. down 
my primal ground uh -huh. on. Okay. Okay. I'm on my final Pokemon, though. The shiny Zacian. Come on, Zacian. No, that, that, that sword that does thing, a no. lot, but does it do enough? God G -G damn it. G -G. This wheel is full of Gigantamax Pokemon. In each round, we'll spin the wheel to decide what Gigantamax Pokemon we need to catch. And after we both caught our G Max Pokemon for the round, we'll meet up for a 1v1 battle. First person to win four Gigantamax Pokemon battles is the winner. But it's time for my wheel spin. What G Max Pokemon do I get for the Something first bad. round? Please. And yo, yes, dude. Oh, that's one oh, of my God. favorites. No, 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 no. I don't like the sound of the office, please. And next up is Jay. And by the way, we please. cannot see each other's wheel spins. So, mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. what do you get here? Just something oh, bad? Oh, right? my. Office, you stand the chance. You actually oh, stand no. the chance. Oh, God. The round starts now. Good luck. Good luck. Let's do this, guys. We got to find ourselves a Venusaur. One of my favorite G Max Pokemon, 100%. It makes you guys let me know your favorite Gigantamax Pokemon in the comments. Like, is it Gengar? Gengar is a sick G Max. And while you're down there, you might as well subscribe too if you haven't already. But come on, guys, let's track down a Venusaur. I'm pretty sure Gigantamax Urshifu is like one of the best in the entire game as well, by the way, since it's a legendary and a Gigantamax, you know, you put them two together and something crazy happens. Oh my gosh, that is not a Venusaur, but dude, imagine if we get G-Max Charizard this video. That's like my number one favorite G-Max, so I really want to get that today. And I'm pretty sure Gigantamax Urshifu also gets a move that always lands a critical hit on the opponent's Pokemon, so we are definitely going to do a lot of damage to whatever Pokemon up is got. But obviously, I have no idea what G-Max Pokemon J got, and he has no idea that we got Venusaur this round. So we do kind of have the element of surprise working with us, and uh, there is our Venusaur right in front of us. What's up, buddy? <gasps> oh my god, finally. Hello, Ashifu. Get in this Master Ball right now. Oh, yes. It is time for the battle. And it is time for the first Gigantamax oh, battle. Venusaur. No, you got Urshifu. Okay, wait, I that's did, really I did. bad. <laughs> oh, dude, Look these guys at are his huge. Thing. He's so oh, massive. My. Okay. You did so much damage, though. Of damage. There we go. Oh my Max God, Airstream. No, 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 no. Super effective. No! <laughs> but we take down the Urshifu. Oh. Let's go, baby. It is one to zero. Let's go, baby. Up one to zero. But what do I get for my next come round? On, come in? On, please, something bad. Uh, yeah, that's amazing. That's the best G-Max uh -huh, Pokemon. Okay, that's Let's a good go. sell. That's so good. What for your spin, come Jay? On, come on, please, I'm please, I'm, please. I'm listening to your reaction, dude. I'm listening. Ooh. You know, this has some hidden potential up. So there we go. We won the first round. But guys, this is far from over. Because we still got to win three more rounds. And we have an Al Creamy this round, which means I don't know if we're going to win. And we get a Gigantamax Sandaconda this time, which is very, very good. And by the sounds that Arpus made, he did not get something good. So our chances are looking really Really, really good right now. And of course, we find a Sandaconda easily. We go to the desert biome and hope for the best because this is Sandaconda's home. Oh, and here's the pre evolved form of Al Creamy. Why couldn't you just be evolved, dude? Why? I won't lie, though. I'm kind of excited to see what G Max Al Creamy looks like in Pixelmon because I have 100% never used that Pokemon in this game ever. So we got to see what it looks like. Come on, come on. That's a Dotler right there. That is not what I am looking for. Scola B. That's basically a walking snake, right? So give me the slithering snake. And also, let me know in the comments which Gigantamax Pokemon is your favorite. I would love to know. And I know we're also fairy types, so as long as Jay didn't get, like, a poison or a steel type, we could be okay this round. Hey, and there's our El Creamy. Is there, like, a bunch of different forms of this Pokemon or something? I don't know, but here we go. Let's catch the El Creamy. Oh! Wait, I see a snake! Is that Sandaconda? There we go! Get in this Master Ball. Sandaconda, you're trying to eat Vicobo? What are you doing? And now it's time for another battle, which I'm not nervous Service it all for. Definitely. Moving on to the second battle. Now, what you got? Ooh, okay, okay. Al Creamy. Not too bad. Sandaconda versus mm -hmm, Al Creamy. Mm -hmm. Let's go. So, we got a big cake okay. and a big snake. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Yeah, who's going to win? The oh, ultimate God. 1v1. You do so much damage. What is this? <laughs> Max, quick. Come on. Oh. No! Let's go, Sandaconda! What? I thought it was gonna win. So it's one to one. There you go, Jay. You're on the board, but come on. What mm -hmm, G Max mm -hmm. do something I get bad, now? Something and bad. I am not complaining oh, at no. all. Let's no, go, baby. No. I will take that. But as for Jay, come, come on, dude. Please, I'm listening. I, I gotta please. see what I'm gonna predict what Pokemon go! you get. 
Okay, I'll take this as well. Not too bad, actually. So now we get to track down one of my favorite Generation 8 Pokemon. And honestly, one of my favorite G-Max forms as well, Hatterene. Since it's a poison type, Pokemon it is most definitely spawning in the swamp biome. Because this is the swamp Pokemon's home, of course. And unlike our previous Gigantamax Sandaconda, Toxtricity actually gets some pretty good moves. So if we could find one, it would be greatly appreciated. Because I don't want to turn up to a battle empty-handed, you know? And I'm not going to lie. All the bamboo kind of makes it a little hard to explore through here. It's also like impossible to see any Pokemon. Like, what's up, Lugia? How you doing? I'm surprised we even saw this. All right, jungle. It's totally been real, but I gotta, I gotta get out of there. It's just not working at all. <laughs> Sable. I okay, and that's a Lucario over there. I see you, buddy. And actually, a bunch of poison type Pokemon are spawned. And then we got Nido Queen. We got Nidorino. And the Ivy saw as well. Dude, please give me toxicity already. <laughs> and two minutes out of the jungle. Not even two minutes maybe 30 seconds out of the jungle and we find the Hatterene we're looking for. Let's go, baby. Look at this, though. There's also a Lunala up there. Like, there's a bunch of Pokemon around here. Let's go. <gasps> and that is the Toxtricity right there. Let's go. Get in this Master Ball. The Master Ball actually kind of suits you as well. Moving on to the next battle. And, ooh, wait. Hold on. This is crazy. Mm -hmm. Got the Hat Pokemon. Okay. Toxtricity versus Hatterene. We're mm. both super effective on each other. Damn. And I paralyze you. Let's no. go. <laughs> Paralyzed and yes. I can't move. Oh uh -huh. my gosh. Uh -huh. Let's go, Toxtricity. Dude, no way. And you got I paralyzed can't move again. again. Bro, I Let's swear go. I was just going to one-shot you too. Like, I uh -huh. cannot believe that. Well, and goodbye. Just... So it's two to one now in favor of Jay. Mm -hmm. I got to get something bonkers here and... Oh, no. Oh, no. That's oh, what I'm talking about. No. That is what I'm talking about. Oh, Let's God, go. I don't like that sound. Let's see what Jay gets. I mean, <sighs> I can't see what please, Jay gets, but... Please, please. Ooh. Okay. We got the one-tapping machine office. Get ready. One-tapping machine. I have no idea what you're talking about. Let's go. Toxtricity game. Game through for us, ladies and gentlemen. It is two to one right now. We take those. Okay, so we get one of the best G Max Pokemon, a hundred percent, which of course is G Max Cinderace, which, whoo, dude, insane Pokemon. We only need to win two more times and we win the entire thing. Come on! And this time we actually got a Gigantamax Inteleon, which is very, very good. Gigantamax Inteleon is just chilling on top of its sniper tower, about to one tap any Arpus's Pokemon. I'm just trying to think of what bad matchups we could have for Cinderace. Obviously, G-Max Blastoise would suck to go up against. But I guess any of the other Water-type ones, like G-Max Kingler or like G-Max Inteleon. Now, it would be really good for us if Arpa's got like a Fire-type Gigantamax Pokemon, like a Charizard maybe. That would be kind of cool because Water-types are obviously super effective against the Fire. And that would put us 3-1 to one in the score. Oh my god, come on, please. Well, we're about to find out because there is our Cinderace. What's up, buddy? Get in the Master Ball. And we just got to pray we have a good matchup. Ooh, 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 wait, there's so many Pokemon spawning in the water. Hold up, that's the start of Pokemon right there. Okay, we are in the right direction. Oh, there we go! Inteleon chilling in the ocean, as one does, of course. Come here, buddy. We are about to one tap Arpus in the battle. Moving on to the next round now, and we got- Wait, this ooh. is perfect! I can't believe- Dude, uh -huh. Inteleon is one of the three Pokemon I said I cannot fight, and of course Ace you get Cinderace, it, dude. let's go! And here oh we go, G-Max Cinderace, You're dude. so Big, the what? Inteleon. Wait, you do so much damage. Wait. Ah. Let's go, baby. Oh, Let's no, go. Oh, I'm going no, for it again. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come I'm on, going come for on. it one more time. Let's go, Inteleon. Woo. No. Uh-huh. It's three to one. You are one round from winning. So I need to win the next three rounds mm -hmm. in a row if I want to win this challenge. And that is a great start. No, that is an amazing no, start. Let's go. I don't want to hear that. Come on, Jay. I need you to get come something on, bad. It sounded like you got something good. good. Please, so please. Dude, please. Ooh. I haven't actually used this one yet. Let's go. I'll take it. Good luck, bro. You are gonna need it. Good luck. Ooh, dude, getting G-Max Melmetal this round, that is that is what we needed. So I just gotta hope, too, that Jay didn't get, like, a fire type. If he got G-Max Charizard, we might be cooked. There is still a huge chance we make the comeback today. So, guys, if you want me to win, don't forget to drop a like. Because I need all the support in the world. We gotta make a 3-1 to one comeback, and Jay is one round from winning. This is not looking good. It sounded like Up has got something incredible. But we did 
to get ourselves a Gigantamax Orbita, which I haven't used before, to be honest. So, it might be really good. It might be really bad. Who knows? It looks cool, though. It looks like a massive UFO. And I'll keep it a sack with you. I got no clue where Orbital spawns as well. Oh, my gosh. Of course, a Rayquaza spawns in. But where's the Mel Metal, man? Oh, and a Dialga. Okay, that's a Steel Legendary. We're getting closer. But still, no luck yet. I'm assuming since Orbital is a bug type, it spawns in the forest biome, right? So, if you chill around here, we should be good, right? Oh, my God. And that's a Ditto. Imagine that Gigantamax Ditto. That would be kind of crazy. I will say one of the reasons I'm so happy we got Mel Metal is just because he's bulky. Like, we don't have to worry about just dying in one turn like how Cinderace went out. Oh, Beetle, oh, Beetle, oh, Beetle. Come on, do I need to look under the trees? I'm guessing I do. Do I need to break like a log or something? Come on, give me the bugs. And no bugs. Okay. And there he is, our boy, the one and only Mel Metal. How you doing? But see, he just wants a hug. Look at him. Oh, and that's an old Beetle right there. Okay, we take it. Look at this thing. This bad boy is going to turn into a giant UFO in a second. Moving on to the next battle. This could be the what? final battle if Jay wins, but you I'm not Mel Metal! Oh, my God. Yes, oh I my do, God. sir. And versus the G Max Orbital. Mm -hmm. The Let's UFO. See what happens. Let's see. Oh, God. Oh, really? Yeah, you look like oh, a spaceship, God. dude. That is actually yeah. so sick. <laughs> look at it. What the heck? Let's do this move, maybe. How much would this do? Yeah, I'm going to try this Ooh, one. Oh, now. I don't nothing. even that know. G Max oh, no. oh, no. Come on. The Max Lightning. I'm so low. Please. No. Yes. <laughs> there we go. Okay. It is three to two. Let's go. Your boy is still in this, but we got to get something please, amazing something here. And. That's... No. no. Jay, I'm no, so no, sorry. No, That's no, all we need. Let's no. go. <laughs> hey, come on, Jay. Please, something come on. bad. I know you got something Please, good. Give I me something good as well. Everything. Oh. Let's go! Okay, okay. Now we're like talking, now we're talking. Oh, that is so clutch. All right, so Gengar is definitely one of the best G-Max Pokemon. And we gotta hope that we're super effective on whatever J rolled. Because while Gengar is one of the strongest offensive G-Max Pokemon, it is not very bulky. So we just gotta, like, one-shot whatever Pokemon J has. And yeah, hopefully it's either weak to Poison or Ghost-type because we need to win. Okay, a Gigantamax Grimstone. That's actually a very, very good Gigantamax Pokemon. But but Alpes did make it sound like he got Gigantamax Charizard or something crazy. So I hope it's not that because that Pokemon is good. And I've seen so many purple Pokemon. Look, there's a King right there. There's a Cloyster. Where's our big purple Gengar? Come on, where is he? Come on, come on. Where is the Grimstone, please? But Gengar is like definitely my favorite G-Max next to Charizard for sure. Hey, and there we are right here. What's up, Gengar? Why are you spinning around, buddy? Get in the Master Ball. That's a Toxic Croak. That is not what I'm looking for. That's an Ivysaur again. That's a... Uh, oh, that's a Grimstone, actually. Let's go. I got confused for a second. Look at this buff. Dude, look at them shoulders, man. Oh, my God. Either way, though, get in this Master Ball. Here we are. I need to win this, guys. It is three to two. If Jay wins, the match is over, and you here have a go. Here we go. Snarl. We okay. have a Gengar. Oh, God. Oh, no. This is bad. I have this is really bad. Effective Woo! move on you. Come on. Take there it down. Go. Take it down. No, you're so tanky. Yes. Oh, Gengar no. lives. This is not looking good. Oh, and bro, look, come just look on, at Gengar's mouth, on. bro. That's the biggest mouth He's I've ever Grimstone. seen. He's licking Grimstone. Hello? Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> He licked Grimmsnarl, <laughs> oh, and gosh. we took it down as well. It is all tied at three to three. And on to the final round of wheel spins. What will your boy get? Something bad, and something Ooh. bad. Thank you. Thank oh, you, no. game. No, no. Thank you. And for Jay's final wheel Come spin on, of this the is my video, final chance, please. Something bad, please. Okay, there we go, Apis. You actually lose. No. So let's go, guys. We tied it up at three to three, which means whoever wins this round wins the entire challenge, and that's going to be us. Plus, we get my favorite G-Max Pokemon, G-Max Charizard for the round. This is our final chance, ladies and gentlemen. Arpis somehow came back. This is looking really, really bad. But we did get ourselves a Gigantamax Corviknight, which is one of my favorite G-Maxes out there. And it's super, super powerful as well. I mean, if Jay gets a Blastoise for his pick, then, uh, you know, I, we obviously could lose. So I'm kind of feeling the momentum, but we got to find this Charizard. Carablast with Lava. Okay, Curl. Leah. Oh my god, that's a rookie D. Give me the full evolution, please. I don't need Rookie D. I need Corviknight. And there it is. There is our Charizard. Please don't fly away. Please don't fly away. Thank you. Thank you. Let's 
<gasps> That's a Kovanite right there. Let's go. Finally. Why is Kovanite chilling in the water, though? Can't you fly away, buddy? Maybe your wings are too wet. Either way, though, let me capture you and save you from the water. And now it's time for the final battle. Charizard Here we go. versus Here we go. This is really bad for me, actually. I just realized. You're oh, God. right. This is terrible for you. I have a great matchup. Mm. Well, let's mm -hmm. see. We got the two big boys. Yeah, they look super cool. G-Max Wildfire, oh though. No, it no, does no. a lot. No! And it takes you down. I forgot <laughs> it has residual damage. Let's go. Charizard's the winner, and that means I'm the winner. GGJ. Today, we're choosing the correct door in Minecraft Pixelmon. Each round, will have three doors to choose from, each with a Pokemon behind them. And whatever door we choose, we get to catch the Pokemon that was behind it. And these Pokemon could be anything from a Caterpie to a Mewtwo to a Mega Gyarados. But we need to choose the best possible Pokemon team because at the end, we'll take on the leader of Team Galactic, Cyrus and his Dialga and Palkia. Well, let's do this, guys. Coming up now on the first set of doors, we have a white door, purple door, and a yellow door. Okay. Ooh, and it looks like we have a little hint here as well. Okay. So it seems like we have two fully evolved, one legendary from gens 1, 5, and 7. Okay. And apparently the color of each room represents the color of each Pokemon. So we have a white Pokemon, purple, and a yellow Pokemon. So we know we have a legendary. Could be Gen 1. Maybe this is like a Zapdos in this yellow one. I will say it seems like we're going to get a good Pokemon regardless. I mean, two fully evolved and one legendary. That sounds amazing, but can we choose the legendary? It said Gen 2 on the thing. Maybe Raikou could be in this far right one. I'm trying to think of other purple legendaries, like Spectriire maybe, but that's Gen 8. And a white legendary Pokemon, Reshiram, that's Gen 5. That does not even count. So I think our best bet might be choosing the yellow door. So yeah, let's go ahead and lock in the yellow door. But before we open it, let's see what we could have had. In the white door, we have a... Oh, a Kling Clang. Okay, so not the legendary. That is a really good sign. So that means we have a 50-50 shot of getting a legendary. And since we have a 50% chance at a legendary, I'm just going to open our door right now. Three, two, one. Uh, oh. So it's not a legendary, but I mean, it is a very powerful Jolteon, which means the purple door was the legendary Pokemon, a Tapu Fini. But here we have our very own Jolteon, who's actually humongous. This is the biggest Jolteon I've ever seen. There we go. We got one team member down. Time for the next set of doors. And let's take a look at this hint, why it done. When we have one fully evolved, two that don't evolve, and we have gens three, four, and five. Ooh, okay. One fully evolved Pokemon and two that don't evolve. Ooh, wait a second. Hold on. What if those are legendaries? Legendary Pokemon don't evolve. So there could be another opportunity to get a legendary here. Let's go. But there's a fully evolved Pokemon from Gens 3, 4, and 5. So that could be a pseudo legendary too. Ooh, and Garchomp is a dark blue just like this door. Okay. I'm not going to get my hopes up, but this could definitely be a Garchomp. Ooh, and maybe this is like a fully evolved fire starter Pokemon. That could be crazy. And honestly, Pink. Pink is like the only thing I can't come up with any Pokemon for. Like I would say Mew and Mewtwo, but those are Gen 1. These are 3, 4, and 5. So I think I've narrowed it down to either the orange door or the blue door. Ooh, maybe this could even be like a Groudon, dude. Groudon is kind of orange. And Groudon is from Gen 3 and doesn't evolve, so... so uh, I really don't know if this is a tough choice, but I think we're gonna go ahead and lock in the orange door right here. And with that in mind, let's see what we could have had, what we missed out on. First here in the pink door, we have. Come on, not good. A Licky Licky. Okay, honestly, I am totally fine passing on that. That could have been a lot worse, honestly. So that was our Gen 4 Pokemon. Still Gen 3 and 5 alive. The next Pokemon we missed out on from the blue door is... Ooh, a Druddy You know what? I am happy passing on that too. Wait, because that means the Pokemon we chose in the orange door doesn't evolve. So we could have a Legendary on our hands. Nothing else to do but see if we hit the jackpot. Come on, baby. Show me a Legendary. Yay! Oh, I mean, it's not the best legendary, but it is definitely a legendary Pokemon nonetheless. And you can get in that Master Ball, Mr. Regirock. All right, so I think we did pretty good for round two. We are not even halfway through all of these doors. We have, oh, yellow, green, and red. Kind of reminds me of a traffic light, but here we go. Let's read the hint. One mega? No way there's a mega Pokemon here. Okay, so we have one mega, evolved starter, and gens two, four, and four. Oh, only a hint for 
two of the Pokemon. So we only know the third Pokemon's generation. Interesting. Okay. Let's see if we can narrow down what Mega Pokemon it might be. For green Mega Pokemon, there's like Mega Tyranitar, Mega Rayquaza. Hold up. We might have to pick the green one just off of that. But for red, I don't know, maybe Charizard could count. Ooh, Houndoom. Houndoom could definitely count for the red one. Maybe orange though. I don't know. For yellow, we have like Mega Alakazam, Mega Manectric. That's like all the Megas I can think of. I guess Mega Venusaur for the green one. I kind of feel like it's an even chance all around to get the Mega Pokemon, though. I really don't know. But luckily for us, we also have a chance for a fully evolved starter Pokemon, which would be great. But we definitely need some legendary Pokemon if we want to beat Cyrus's Dialga and Palkia. One thing I will say, though, is we already have an electric type, and I feel like most yellow Pokemon are electric types, so I don't really want to choose that door. And in terms of starter Pokemon, I would probably rather have a fire type than a grass type. So through process of elimination, we're going to go ahead and pick the red door this time. And with that being said, you guys know the drill. Let's check what we could have had in the green door ah! through Master Ball. That's not what I wanted to do. We have a Carnivine. That is good news. Okay, baby. Well, because that means we either chose the Mega Pokemon or the starter. Oh, this could be so good. This could be amazing. Fully evolved starter Pokemon is yellow. I have no idea. But the moment of truth, did we choose the Mega Pokemon? Pokemon. Let's open our door right now, baby. Come on, drum roll, please. Yeah. Oh, we have an Infernape. No way. Oh, that is actually such a good Pokemon, but that means we missed out on the Mega Evolution. Everyone get ready to cry. What Mega Pokemon did we miss out on? Oh, Mega Amphra. Okay, actually, that's fine because we already have a Jolteon. If I didn't already have an electric type, I would be pretty upset. I'm not gonna lie, but now we can just go ahead and catch this Infernape. And that could actually help us out a lot against Cyrus's DL. And just like that, we are halfway to building our god squad on to the next round now let's check this hint out Ooh, and we have a legend we have one legend and we have a pseudo legendary pokemon as well okay that is crazy we got gens three eight eight two pokemon from gen eight interesting Ooh, okay let's see if we can narrow down the pseudo legendary then so i guess salamence or metagross could fit in this blue door okay that's a really good sign for gen eight the pseudo is dragapult which is blue but i don't think he's like a light blue. He's like a darker blue. Or he's kind of greenish too. Dragon Ball's got a bunch of different colors, but not blue. So honestly, I'm really liking our odds at this blue door being Metagross or Salamence. What does that leave for the legendary? Are there any white legendary Pokemon from Gen 3 or 8? Like I said earlier, the only one I can think of is Reshiram. And that Pokemon's from Gen 5, so that doesn't even count. So I really don't think we should choose the white door. I'm pretty confident with that. For the orange door, I mean Groudon, once again, Groudon's kind of orange, especially Primal Groudon. That would be insane. I don't think it can fit in this building though. <laughs> I still just think this middle door has to be the pseudo legendary Pokemon and I'd rather get a Salamence or a Metagross than take a 50-50 chance at getting a legendary. So I think we're just gonna go ahead and lock in the blue door right here. But of course, let's see if we chose the correct door. Let's check the white one here first. Please don't be a legendary or a pseudo. Please don't be a legendary or a pseudo. Come on! Yes! Okay, it is an Ice Cube. I actually love this Pokemon. He's one of my favorite from Gen 8, but he's definitely not better than a legendary or a pseudo and it seems we chose right let's open our door and find out if we have a legendary or a pseudo legendary come on baby three two one oh we were right. i actually can't believe that i guessed that i feel like it was kind of on the easier side to like narrow it down but let's go we have a salamence which means we unfortunately passed on a legendary pokemon and that pokemon is a galarian zapdos no no, that would help out so much against Cyrus. Oh, that kind of hurts, I won't lie. But at least we can catch our trusty Salamence right here. I mean, can't really complain about that. But we're on to the next round, and guys, I am starting to get nervous. We need to choose the best Pokemon from this round, so let's see what we got here. Two legends, two legends, one imposter from gens one, five, and six. Interesting. All right, so that's great news. Two legendary. Pokemon, but there's an imposter. What does that mean? Like a fake legendary Pokemon? I don't even know what that would be. Let's try and think of the legends from each of the generations here and see if the colors match. I don't think any of these colors match any of the legends from Gen 1, except pink, which could be Mew or Mewtwo, obviously. And that could actually be insane. We gotta keep thinking. The brown door, what could this be? Nothing from Gen 1. I mean, Entei is kind of 
brown, but that's Gen 2. The Veltel is definitely not brown. It's black and red, so it's not that. So I don't know, man. I mean, the only door I can think of a legendary for is the center door. But if this is the one door without a legend, we are so doomed for the battle. So we'll go ahead and lock in the pink door. And let's check the brown door first and see what we could have had. Please don't be a legendary Pokemon. If this isn't a legendary, then we have a guaranteed legendary. Come on, please. No. Oh, no. Dude, that is so bad. So this is a legendary Pokemon, meaning we actually have a 50-50 shot here that the pink door contained the second legend. Please show me a legendary Pokemon. We need this so bad. Come on. Three, two, one, yeet. Yes. 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 Yes, I mean, it's not even the best legendary, but I will take a Hoopa any day of the week. But actually, let's see what the imposter was. I'm actually really curious. We have, honestly, I should have guessed that. I don't know how I didn't guess that. It literally told us Gen 1 Pokemon imposter. Like, how did Ditto not click in my head? Maybe I gotta get more sleep or something. Man. Anyway, we can go ahead and catch a Hoopa and secure our fifth Pokemon on the team. Meaning we are at the final round about to add our last team member to the squad. And look, we have one. One singular hint here. Gen 3 dot 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 dot. Okay. And does this mean what I think it means? I mean, Gen 3, you have Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. And we have a blue door, a green door, and a red door. I'm not the only person thinking Kyogre, Rayquaza, and Groudon, right? I mean, if Gen 3 is all we have to go off of, these colors say a lot. I mean, obviously, this could be a Cacturn, this could be a Wailord, and this could be a Torkoal. I don't know. But if you actually notice, these buildings are much better bigger than the last ones and legendary Pokemon are usually much bigger. So honestly, I'm not going to overthink this at all. Let's just see if we want a Kyogre, Rayquaza or a Groudon. Who can help out the most against Dialga and Palkia? Because Groudon would definitely help us out the most against Dialga. We have other ways to handle Dialga as well, like Infernape. Maybe we should focus on Palkia and I think Rayquaza would be a great addition to the team. So call me crazy, but we are going to lock in the green door and seriously just hope and pray that it's actually a Rayquaza. Come on, sign. Please don't let me down. Get home me Gen 3. That's all I have. We have ourselves a Rayquaza, baby. That is amazing. Which means this door should have a Groudon. And this door should have a Kyogre. Wow. What an actual crazy way to end off the last round of doors. And now it's time to take on the leader of Team Galactic, Cyrus. And now it is time for the moment of truth. Taking on the leader of Team Galactic. Mr. Cyrus himself. Ooh, and he leads off with a Weavile. We got Infernape out, so this is perfect. I'm just gonna Mach Punch. Let's just Mach Punch and barely takes the kill. Okay, I honestly wanted to see the kill there. It's okay, though. Weavile goes down. Ooh, and Houndoom comes out next. Don't really have a clean switch into Houndoom. I'm just gonna stay in and hope that it doesn't do anything to me. Rock Slide connects and takes it out. Regirock is going on a tear. There's there's nothing that can stop him except for maybe a Dialga. This is slightly a problem. Let's close combat now. Just barely taking out the Dialga. That's okay, though, because we can bring in Mr. Rayquaza here. I'm just gonna go ahead and click Outrage and take out Dialga. Palkia comes out now. Power Gem does a lot to Rayquaza, but Outrage does enough to take down Palkia with a critical hit. Outrage connects through the confusion two times. Crowbat goes down, and we have beaten Cyrus. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe.